Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tippity Top Podcast, the show where we discuss our top personal picks for various random topics. I am your host. My name is Tyler, and today I am joined by the boys. We got Brennan. What's going on? We got Kyle. Howdy, howdy. And we have Chipper. Oh! What a what a way to start things off. And Chipper's gone. <laughs> no. Dude, I'm so fucking excited, boys. Huh. Why are you excited, Chipper? I don't know. You tell me. Is it because we're talking about our top favorite uh, online multiplayer games, Hells. excluding co-op? Hells yeah. Boy, I am excited too. Wow. And and I'll tell you why. Because uh, do I not love anything more? than the old video game and the online ones that are multiplayer and exclude co-op are some are some pretty big good ones <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be talking about them <laughs> and my oh, headphones my fell off this is, this is, the, best, God, this is the best intro ever uh, <laughs> yeah so uh you wanna we do we banter do we bullshit do we get right into it i don't, uh, I don't give a fuck <laughs> We're just gonna get right into it. We're not gonna waste people's time. If yeah, if this is the first time watching the 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 this show, tippy um, top yep, the tippy top five cast. Then uh, I swear I'm not drunk or anything. I'm just very. It's kind of recite the alphabet backwards. It's been a day. Don't say. Um, what? No, I so said you recite the alphabet backwards. You're ah, like, don't don't sing it. Fuck, I can't do that. What? But then you're not sober. Why is that, is that a challenge? Because I literally have thought so many well, times, cop- I'm going to try it, and I just can never do it. Because cops want to see if you can like try to think your way through it. Fuck that. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to cut this. I'm going to try it. Z-Y-X-W. Z-Y-X. Okay. Okay. X. L-M-N-O-P. <laughs> That's all of it. You got if it. I were a cop, I'd be like, I, I got it. first Great. person to ever do it. Z-Y-X-W-U-V. Yeah. No, V-U-T-S. What? T-S-R-Q. What? <laughs> P-O. No, P- yeah, P-O-N-M-L. L. K? K-J. This is breaking my fucking J. brain. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Cool, so if you haven't uh, listened to the Tiffany Top <laughs> podcast before, uh, basically how it works is we go around the hypothetical room just discussing our personal top five uh, lists of whatever our topic is. Today, it's online multiplayer games, excluding co-op. Yeah. And we're going to start with the number five, so work our way up to our number one. We're going to start with Chipper, and we're going to go! Chipper, what's your number five? Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's like 2005, right? No, it's not. I'm playing everybody's favorite game ever that anybody's ever played in the history, except for mine. It's my number five. It's called Fiesta. I know you've all heard of it. What the fuck? (laughs) Why do you always start these with the most obscure shit? (laughs) That's probably his point. Yeah. Enlighten um, us, Chipper. So Fiesta is an MMORPG. Ah. Um. While I'm not, a, I don't love MMORPGs, this one was fun because I had like seven of my friends playing it and a couple of my cousins. So we had a giant group. And so I kind of, kind of liked it, you know? Um, so let me explain it. This one was weird because it was like your, I don't know how to explain this MMORPG. It's a weird one. So, you have to cut this out because, like, I, I really don't know how to explain this. It's such a weird one. Um, it's called Fiesta. Was is it, it was about? Like, there's parties involved. I'm, I'm guessing it, it's like pinatas that like no. do just dark magic. It literally <laughs> has nothing to do with the name. <laughs> Then why is it called what the Fiesta? Fuck is I don't then? know. It, if it's so, not Spanish partying, then I want nothing to do with it. Don't call it Fiesta. It's a lie. I don't know. Like, your characters, I wouldn't say they're fairy characters because they're not, but they're like like 10-year-old boys and girls. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. no, That's I, a Fiesta uh, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> weird. It's not that weird. But you just it's like a kind of typical MMORPG. There's like paladins. There's knights. There's mages. There's archers and whatnot. And like, so they like fight the, each other or what? 
No, it's like it's so it's so imagine WoW, but with like a lot less abilities. Boys. <laughs> what the fuck? So okay, so there's no way to explain this game. You'll just have to look it up okay. because I yeah, really I'm, can't. I'm looking up images of it right now. One thing you could have said was it's anime. Yeah. Oh pretty... yeah, I guess that's that a good could have uh, cleared up a little bit of the. Uh, you say a little boy, so I'm thinking like they're like photorealistic. Oh yeah, no, no there's like an anime no. girl riding a red panda made of triangles. And that okay, uh, so that's one thing I like about this. There's so many different like pets and mounts. And so you can even set up your own shop in like the main area where people go to, like the main town. And you can get like different looking houses. Like you can get a volcano and they have their own unique animations where like the volcano will erupt and like rocks will fly out of it every once in a while and stuff like that. But like the best part about this is that so there's the raids are really freaking fun because there's like a lot of objectives that you have to do that aren't like tedious or annoying it's just like fun like hey go hunt down this like dude that's running from you and after you find him he like leads you to a boss and stuff like that just like weird quirky uh little missions that you have to do before you get to like the main boss and then it was just like a lot of fun because you would always have just like so many people. Um, you I think you can have like five people in a group. So I would have my group of people and then like you could still like heal other people and like uh, buff them and whatnot. And it was just like a lot of fun. That was like the only MMO I ever found fun. And since I did it with like my brothers and a couple of my friends, it was just something that we could all do together. Cool. Nice. There you go. It's a, it's a weird ass game. Uh, it was free, so that's why I played it. Obviously, microtransactions, but you, it was pretty easy to get through the game without the microtransactions. Oh yeah, you just don't look as cool. I mean, yeah, because like there's a lot of like cosmetics that you couldn't get. Yeah, most of the I stuff just, was just cosmetics. No, yeah, I mean like. I've always wanted to play like an MMORPG like that. I've just never like actually gotten committed to one. The only one I've ever actually like tried to play was that one Star Wars one that one time that they made like right oh, after the Clone yeah. Wars TV show came out. And I remember like dumping like a good 20 bucks in it into it just because there was like a specific clone. I don't even remember which clone it was, but I just remember there was a clone that I saw from the show that you could like buy a skin. But like it was only like you had to spend like 20 bucks. And I was like, fuck it. I'm 12. I'm going to buy it. And I bought it because I wanted it. And I stole my mom's credit card. Um, <laughs> so yeah wow this is yeah. a hell of a way for your mom to find out <laughs> yeah sorry mom ha <laughs> um but no I uh yeah I feel like I, I I understand where like MMORPGs like get a lot of love I've just never been able to like fully get into one but I wish I could yeah, yeah. the only one I ever really got into was Wizard 101 oh which, fuck uh, <laughs> yeah that takes you back right <laughs> damn I haven't I remember like seeing commercials for that like literally every commercial break during on the yep. Cartoon Network like way back yeah. in the day. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've I've never heard of Fiesta, but it sounds like a delightful time. So yeah. I'll, I'll take your word for it that uh, personifying yourself as a ten year old boy, Shit. as a ten year old boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But now you have I powers. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get cool powers. Um, also, I guess you could say it was f- called Fiesta because like every every like season or like every holiday or something they would have like throw a big event and this was like the cringy part they had there were a lot of like dance um emos Ooh, and whatnot. Dude, like, so like they would get together and like the creators of the game would just like get on their characters and be like all right everybody we're gonna have a dance contest in the game wow the shit ever. what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> i never did those i just like saw videos because like my one <laughs> was like hey dude check this stupid shit out this. I was like, oh, oh no, this is cringy. <laughs> wow. Well then, yeah. uh, Brendan, what's your number? Five? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that. Or the fucking segue. Let's get on right, right, right along. Um. Well, anyways, this is uh, my number five is actually the latest uh, installment in this franchise, and uh, I've been with this franchise since the beginning, <clears throat> and uh. That game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes, Whoa. dude. <clears throat> nice. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, well, 
the 2019 Modern Warfare, because right. the original COD 4 Modern Warfare came out in 2007. Well, this new one's like a bit of a reboot. So And a really good reboot. Campaign. Yeah, it's like, you know, different character, like the same characters, but different people playing them. But anyways, fuck, fuck campaign for now. I like when this game originally launched, like all I played was a campaign, like I messed around with the online a little bit, but like I didn't find it too great. Like there were some things in the game I really didn't like, like sprint out times and, you know, like, like the game felt like really campy, you know, I wasn't a big fan of that, but, uh, the last, like, I guess like three months, well, no less than that, probably the last like two months I just dived in like balls deep because they had a couple like they have like a new like battle pass system where like you'll have like xp and like gain tiers and shit so i've been playing that and of course like they have like some pretty badass weapons i've been loving up the shit out of that in order to get like better attachments to make my you know already overpowered guns are way more overpowered so because i like being overpowered who and, doesn't uh, yeah who doesn't <clears throat> who doesn't like getting like tactical nukes and shit Hell yeah. <laughs> like 20, 25 kill streaks and shit. Which I haven't done in the new one. I've done the older ones, but not this one. So you can but, get that uh, in this one? I wasn't oh, yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, you can. Cool. Yeah, I actually had it happen to me. Uh, so the one thing I, the one thing I like about this game a lot is it it's like Call of Duty, but like everything feels like... Uh, kind of like like raw and more defined on the same time like i guess when they were developing the game uh infinity ward actually took all the developers and took them to like like gun ranges and they're like hey like we're actually gonna like shoot all these weapons oh shit you know so that way like you guys get like a genuine feel for like how these you know guns would react and then of course like all right we're gonna put it like in the game like that now of course like you're not getting like exactly that but like like uh like sometimes recoil feels a little more random. Uh, like it, it kind of has like a kind of a battlefield kind of feel, but like not, it doesn't like lose its groundedness in Call of Duty. Cause like Call of Duty's always been like more like polished, more like, you know, bullets go like exactly where you aim them, you know, that kind of like shooter. But like this game is like a little bit, like they leave it a little bit, but not too much. So like it still feels like Call of Duty. And uh, I don't. I just fucking love it. That like a lot of the game modes, and they're bringing back like old maps. Like they brought back like shipment, which is just like basically like you're in a box. <laughs> like I got enemy. I got enemies like two feet away from me. You know, spawning in. But yeah. that's probably my main complaint now. Like spawns kind of suck. Yeah, that's that was my complaint. Like because I even played like the beta for <clears> it, <throat> and I remember during the beta it was a lot worse. And they definitely improved it since. But like the the spawns, I still I think are still pretty pretty wonky i think that's like its biggest problem still to me because like i honestly it almost made it on to my number five because i've really been liking it a lot uh but i don't know like because i definitely feel like i i agree when you said the way you said like they've polished it and it just feels so much more like raw and like in your face i really do like it i feel like they're also like treating the fans well with this one because they're just like here's rust here's shipment we're gonna have a good old time with this game and it's just been a blast yeah Oh yeah, and I I basically play that game mode where it's like Rust shipment and shoot house. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez, I, like, I really like shoot house. I know a lot of people. I've I've seen comments I like on people it too. say they don't, but especially with a uh, on the headquarters game mode, I think it's like really really tight. Oh yeah, headquarters and hardpoint. Mm. Like those two, I don't. I just fucking dig it. Like I I'm, I love playing the objective. I'm a big play mm-hmm. the objective kind of guy. Hmm. But yeah, my uh, <laughs> my, I kind of want to get it. I it's, I fucking it's, love it. Yeah, it's it's, good. it's it's better than a lot of the older titles in the last few years. I think I I would one hundred percent agree. That's why I almost and, made it onto my list. And well, that's why I made it onto mine as my number five, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Nice, hell yeah, dude. And that's funny that you uh, you bring up Call of Duty because uh, my number five Uh-oh. is the Call of Duty that made it on the list instead of the newest one, just because I played it so much when I was younger. Uh, and that Call of Duty is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Hmm. Ooh, all right. Yeah, that, that is game. probably my favorite Black Ops <clears throat> game. Hell yeah, dude. I, I really liked 3 as well, just not so much for the online multiplayer. 
I sure, like, yeah. there's a lot of other things about Black Ops 3 that I really enjoyed, like specifically the zombies. I liked in 3 a little bit. Well, I don't even know if I liked it more. There's just different parts about it that are cool. But anyway, that's a whole other conversation. That's not about right. this <laughs> podcast. Um, but no, uh, it was like the first Call of Duty, like first person shooter that I really played that was like realistic. There were like some sci fi E ones that I also played, but like this is the one first one that like really hit me and was like, oh, shit, first person shooters, huh? And it was really fun. A lot of my friends also played it at the time. So like a lot of like I'd just be like, oh, hell yeah, guys, you want to play? Because like I was a big RPG guy growing up. I played a lot of games that were like single player E. So I didn't really when I had games that I could play with friends. Black Ops 2 was one of them. Like when it came out, I was like, oh, shit. All my friends talk about playing Call of Duty and I should I want to play with them. So I'm going to try it. And then we played online multiplayer together. and It was a good time. I really remember the specifically the map with the boat. I don't remember what it's called, but like I vividly oh, remember the yeah. boat. Is it called Hijack? Oh no, oh. the yacht or whatever. Maybe yeah, it was like, yeah, it was the yacht. Know. Yeah, yacht. Yeah. I vividly remember that one for some reason over all the other ones. Yeah, that that's one, like that's the one that sticks with me the most too. Yeah, that one actually made it into uh, Black Ops Four, the uh, battle royale mode. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. There's I, a spot. Yeah, there's a spot you could like fly into. That's the yacht. Huh. Oh, yeah. That interesting. Th- yeah, Black Ops for the the battle royale in that mode is the that game is really cool because it, they did just basically took different maps from all the years and just combined them into one giant battle royale map. So like as like bro, they're doing that for Modern Warfare. Warfare. Yeah, that's what I heard. I'm waiting for it. I'm really excited for it because I really like Blackout. I thought it was a really cool take on the battle royale genre, especially because like for me with like PUBG and stuff, I didn't really like connect with the gunplay so i didn't really enjoy it as much whereas like call of duty is like i i know how this gunplay works so it it's fun and i I was able to do okay uh but they really never added anything to it and it just kind of got really stale and i was like well i don't really care to play this anymore but that's why that one was also in contention a little bit because i did like their take on battle royale but it wasn't it didn't go anywhere and i was like well that's that's disappointing but yeah no so black ops 2 is my number five nice yeah i don't have a lot to say about it because i don't really remember a ton other than just being like this game this game hit me hard in the first person shooter realm so hell know. yeah dude that's my that's probably my favorite call of duty <clears throat> game i don't have any on my list but that's that's the one that stuck with me the most Lame. so so anyway, well, anyway tyler what's your number five what's your number yeah five? so my number five <laughs> is a game that um was quickly Quickly lost its its user base shortly after it came out because of another game, Uh-oh. and um, it's a game that everyone has forgotten and most games. people didn't care about. I think I know which one. And is. everyone knows what it is because yeah. I wasted a ludicrous amount of money on it. <laughs> and it's Battleborn. Oh, Yay! Boo. Yeah. Massive respect. Well, well, if it makes you feel any better, Overwatch is also on my list higher up. So whatever. Fuck we'll you. We'll get there. Oh but, shit! Yeah. It is. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Anyway, but yeah, yeah th- that's the thing. Like, like people always compare like Battleborn and Overwatch because they came out at the same time, and because like fucking what's his name? Who's the guy from Two K or Gearbox or whatever? Which one? There's a lot of guys. The the head of Gearbox, the uh, crazy guy. Oh yeah, I forget his name. Picker that guy. Something. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, guy. he's so a crazy guy with the child porn flash drive and the oh, did the allegedly. magic tricks for the. I don't love that guy. I take it premiere. back immediately. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why I can't think Randy of his name. Randy Pitchford. Randy Pitchford. Yeah, Randy Pitchford is an idiot, and that's why that game failed. Nice. Um, because that game, like Battleborn, is a first-person MOBA, which is why it like intrigued me and why I wanted to play it because I was like, that's a really cool concept. Like, I'm gonna try that, and then. Like, Overwatch got announced, and his dumbass was like, oh, yeah, like, you know, this game is, like, so much better than Overwatch. And it's like, well, it's it's not the same kind of game, man. Like, don't pick a fight with Blizzard. Different. Like, you're not going to win. Like, these yeah. don't have to be related. <laughs> and he, like, re- he went out of his way to, like, say that, like, this is not a MOBA. This is, like, a, a completely different thing. Basically, he, like, false advertised it. So then when it was a MOBA, people didn't like it, and then they left. And granted, it's not the best MOBA. It's not the best game in the world. It's kind of a jumbled mess, but it had a lot of heart and it uh, it was just a lot of fun uh, to me. So that's why it's on my list. And I had a really good time playing it for the few months that it was a thing. Um, See, I yeah, it had a lot of like really cool, uh, like quirky characters and they all had like a ton of personality 
and some really cool designs, some really cool play styles. Um, I played as Shane and Orox, which was like an emo girl with like a demon that like surrounded her and they were like friends and she had like boomerang knives and yeah probably but that was like i don't know that's one of the few games like online games that i was legitimately like good at like i remember playing as that character and i would just be going on like 30 odd kill streaks like no deaths just being a god and like just doing crazy shit and it was just so much fun and um it also had multiple game modes too, which was a kind of unique thing for MOBAs because usually it's just the one game type. But they um they had one where you had to escort minions into a grinder, which was my personal favorite. Um, there was another one where you had to kind of capture command posts um, and kill these like rando enemies, and then there was like your standard MOBA one. Um, yeah, it was kind of it was kind of a clusterfuck, um, kind of a mess, but it was a lot of fun for me, and it kind of. Uh, scratched an itch that not a lot of games do. I thought it was a really unique idea, even if it was kind of poorly executed. And I'm sad that it's that it's dead. I think I think they're shutting the servers down January of next year. Oh, that's such a, that's so unfortunate. I yeah, mean, like, yeah. It's but I mean, granted, point. I I haven't even played it online since like the few months after it came out, so I'm kind of part of the problem. <laughs> but, like, well, it's not even Tyler. It's, it's not your fault. It's totally the marketing's fault. Because, it is. Like, it is absolutely the marketing's it, fault. It is yeah. such a cool idea with absolute terrible marketing, and yeah. it just goes to show you that, like, in the gaming slash media world, if you have poor marketing, you will flop because it just yeah. did so bad with such a cool idea and a lot of potential. That it just fucking died. And like it was yeah. like basically Borderlands crossed up with fucking League of Legends, but first that's, person. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. And yeah. like that's so cool. Why didn't they just yeah. advertise it like that? I like, don't know. Like <sighs> it baffles me, like the choices they made to like advertise that game. Because it was like I knew what it was because like I've played MOBAs and I've played Borderlands, so I got the vibe, but like yeah. they were making it super fucking confusing for the general public. And, like, their core fan base of, like, Borderlands fans who thought it was going to be, like, they thought the campaign was going to be, like, the main part of that game, nope. which it was not. Like, the campaign was just kind of attacked on oh, yeah. just for <clears throat> extra content. Like, it, yeah, no, like, it, it's it's really, really disappointing um, that that game ended the way it was. But yeah. I still had a grand old time playing it uh, online for the brief period it was alive. And that's why it's my number five. Yeah. Even, Damn, even its campaign was really fun too. Like when yeah, I think it was. People, it was just it was all right. It, it was you're right. It, it was. I mean, it wasn't the best, but for like yeah, a mobile honestly, the campaign, campaign was like it. Like I'm, I appreciated that it had it, but I, it wasn't executed the best. No, no. Um, and that's kind of the main problem with that game is it had a lot of ideas. It had a lot to offer. It just didn't necessarily execute each of those individual things as well as it could have. Or, like, with Overwatch, they just had, like, it's just online multiplayer, yeah. and we're just going to do that really well. And that's, like, part of the reason why uh, that was so successful and Battleborn wasn't. And you, you also see, like, the planning that went into Overwatch 2, because, like, now you're having Overwatch 2 come out, which is more story-based. So, like... I still think Overwatch 2 is a cash grab. I'm <laughs> well, like, I, it's, <laughs> like, it's basically just an update for a game and they're charging full price for it. It's but. very obviously a cash well, grab. If you but, want to play online. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like obviously a cash grab, but also like what the fans have always asked for. So like, I yeah, I get it. And I also like don't agree. But the like the point I was making was that like it. They they were like, this is what this game is. It's made by Blizzard. You're going to like it. And they enjoyed it. And there's a lot happened with it. And you got like the esports scene explode and everything with it. And then now they're like, all right, we know you've been wanting this. And we've been working on this for a while. Obvious from all the little bits they've given over the years. Right. Now here's a story part to it. And now everyone gets to enjoy that bit. Like that's smart marketing, smart planning versus yeah. actual ass. Like they could have said it was like <laughs> fucking Borderlands because they fucking <laughs> made Borderlands. Like, it, I well, that, that was their problem is that they were trying to advertise it as like the next Borderlands, but it wasn't. It was a MOBA. Yeah. And they kept like like Randy Pitchford just kept going out of his like super far out of his way. To like try to hammer into people's brains. It's like, no, like he, he like explicitly said at certain points, like, this is not a MOBA. 
So then, like, people buy it, and then the people are expecting, like, something that's, like, the exact same thing as Borderlands. And then they're like, well, what is this shit? I don't understand this. Because it's, like, not even, like, the correct market. Like, if you would have gotten the MOBA dudes in on that, then it probably would have been a little more successful. <clears throat> There's just a lot of poor decision making made. But Bummer. we don't need to talk about it in circles anymore. So, uh, Chipper, what's your number four? Oh, so we're going to stay on MOBA. And I'm going to tell you about Smite. Ooh, Ooh shit. Okay. Ooh. Battle of the Gods. So Smite, as anybody knows, it's it's a MOBA. As it's like League of Legends and Dota and blah, blah, blah. But the best part about it, it's third person and it's a lot slower paced. And I, a lot of people in the MOBA community would not like that. But I am a fan of it because I always like... Like, I kind of like watching League games, and I've always been interested in, like, the characters, but so much happens in so little t- time, and just, like, the top-down view of it makes it hard to follow whenever you're, like, in the middle of a fight, in my opinion. Um, I just mm-hmm. don't have the hand-eye for it. So, like, Smite being able to just, like, okay, your character is the main focus. All your abilities... That's all you have to focus on. Like, I mean, well, you have to focus on other things. It's just like it's easier to follow what you're about to do and <clears throat> kind of like know your position and what you're supposed to do for your team. Um, and I think it's a neat idea what they do with the gods. You know, they take gods from like uh, Nordic and Chinese gods and Japanese and just gods from all the mythologies and it's it's really cool uh, and they give them a lot of like really cool skins and they have a lot of events for where like you can unlock these skins if you want to without having to purchase stuff um and it's also free which makes it really fun just like most mobas but um unlike right. most mobas i think it's a little bit easier to unlock characters than it is in like league or something um that's actually a really big selling point i feel like because like i've tried league before and i'm just like well i want to play this character and they're like well you have to play a lot to get a new character and i'm like well fuck this i don't (laughs) (laughs) yeah the only thing is at this point it is kind of like league where it's like there's so many characters it's like i mean you still have to play a lot to get a lot of characters Mm -hmm. which is understandable if you're gonna get a free game and like you want to try to make people buy things and if you're just like uh you can just get these everything for free just right. by playing like 10 games it's it's not very good uh for your game making profit wise anyways but right it's still like it's not that bad to like go through and like uh, i'm gonna save up for this character and this character and this character um <clears throat> and I don't really uh, really play with too many people because nobody really likes Smite or MOBAs. But uh, <laughs> Smite's actually pretty popular. There's every time I get on, there's always matches. Um, I currently my favorite character is still and will always be Medusa because she can freeze people and then just like sp- shoot poison <laughs> at people and it'll, like bounce off and hit other gods and you can shoot super fast. And just like slay people, um, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Smite, Smite is one of those games that has always really interested me. Um, it's just anytime I've tried playing it, I've just gotten overwhelmed like very quickly, um, and I'm just really bad at it too. Which I get like it takes time to kind of build up skill at a at a new game. It just seems like even though the the entry level of that game is a lot lower than a lot of other MOBAs, yeah, it's still kind of brisk if you're not used to the genre. Like, yeah, <clears throat> it's yeah. still like if if you're not used to playing MOBAs, it's still pretty brutal. But I think like if you're like, oh, I'm interested in MOBAs, Smite's definitely like a very good place to start out. Sure, um, because it's a lot slower paced. It kind of goes through the motions of like there there's a lot of tutorials you can do um and that will kind of still help you unlock characters which is nice Mm -hmm. because it's like oh you know i still don't know this game you can do like practice rounds against ai and it'll be like oh you can here's you can get this currency and buy this character now yeah which is super nice if you're just like i'm still learning yeah 
I, I always forget that you play Smite. Like, I should download it and you should, like, show me how to play sometime. Because that is a game that I have actually, like, wanted to get into for a few years. Yeah. And I just never really have. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm always down to, like, kind of teach people. I've taught a couple people and they're like, oh, yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. I'm like, yeah, this is how most MOBAs are. But imagine like this but on meth because lee like, <laughs> 50,000 different oh, yeah. items that it's people so, are like ah oh. yeah league is league and dota are just so fucking overwhelming like they the, the, <laughs> the so barrier to entry is like climbing mount everest like i don't even yeah. get how they get new players yeah and, I literally, and it's very brutal <laughs> like let me t- like the fan base is brutal smite is still like everybody's still an a hole in mobas cuz if you're not doing your thing right they think you're the worst person on earth but I, I feel like Smite has a little bit nicer of a community, especially at the beginning of it where, where everybody kind of is put together as one. They don't like put you up against assholes right away. And I, I know Smite, they don't do that either, but our league, they don't do that either. But um, still people at lower levels are assholes in league. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, well, you don't, you, you just, you suck. And Smite, they're like, hey, so this is what you should be doing. And that's fine. Like, and they'll try to teach you. Like, I've learned a lot from like just random strangers, but on League, no. They're just like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Well, I'd like to know what the fuck I'm doing. Could you tell me? <laughs> Instead of just like, they'll, they'll just like, in League, they'll just like ping stuff on the map. And I'm like, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But in Smite, like, they're like, there's actual better call outs. And people uh-huh. will just like tell you, like, hey, uh, you're this position. Why don't you go over there and help that position? And like, they'll try to like coach you through it most of the time, it seems like. But you know, as soon as you get up to a certain level, that's when they stop. And I'm like, how did you get up this high? Go die. Typical online stuff. But yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's my number four. Brennan, oh, what's so your number four? Well, <clears throat> my number four is. Coming up on seven years old, and yet they keep pushing out more and more content for it and events. They've actually, the studio has actually released another godlike triple A title. Oh, shit. Is this- and this other title still gets <laughs> just as much, if not more, online support. So, Viva my number Pinata. four. <laughs> Jesus, Chipper. Play it to this day, man. Woo! No, my number four is GTA Five. Oh and shoot! I, I keep about forgetting that game is that old. Yeah, because they keep supporting it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I, I had the game originally for Xbox 360, and like I beat it, and like I messed around a little online, and then like the next gens came out, and then like I rebought it for PS4, and just like all the detail, like like is that the game is coming up on seven years old. <laughs> And yet, like, people are still, like, discovering things, like, in the in the world of San Andreas. And it's just like, holy shit. Like, these guys put so much into the game. And they continue to put so much into the game. Like, you know, they added, like, a casino not too long ago. Like, they had new heists all the time. They had a bunch of new vehicles. They just added the F1 series ve- vehicles or something. The F1 yeah. formula or something. I was like, what the <clears> fuck? <throat> it, it blows my mind when I see ads for that game because I'm just like, what the fuck? This still exists? But then I find myself watching. Like, every once in a while, I'll, I'll just get a... I'll, like, you know, like, like my recommended. It'll be somebody playing GTA Five, And I'm like, oh, shit. That, that'll probably be enjoyable to watch because that game is, like, good. Like, just really good. Like... Yeah, and then, like, like, like they released one of my favorite games ever... And that's Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm. And, you know, that game has like a whole like online multiplayer thing. But yet it seems like GTA 5 gets more love. <laughs> <laughs> it's because like, they did it right and just perfect. We, yeah, like Red Dead 2, like it's fallen short a lot. I mean, granted, they're releasing more and more and more shit to do. But I just remember like when I started playing Red Dead 2 online, I was like, dude, like I'm, I'm bored already. <laughs> What do you do <laughs> with a Western online game? I'm trying that to figure is, that out. I mean, have like, like I mean, bank robberies and bounties, and that's about it, really. Exactly. I'm like, they already did everything. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. They have like like team matches and shit. Like, kind of like how yeah, GTA 5 fun. is. You know, where like you come across like a tile and all of a sudden you're in like a team deathmatch or something. Yeah, but I mean, no one. Most people are playing GTA 5 to like fuck with other people. <laughs> Right. Oh yeah. Uh, I just like some like sometimes I still hop on like today 
And I was like, fuck around my account. Even though, like, I haven't played them so much in the last like, couple of years, but, like, for a few years after release, like, I was fucking balls deep for a minute. You know, hopping on, like, doing heists and, like, you know, getting, uh, like, better getter condos and shit. And, like, the heists yeah. were so fun. Dude, the heists are amazing. <clears throat> so, but yeah, my number four, I just, you know, it's old, but like I said, they still support it. They still put a lot of shit into it. Um, it's basically, it's still like a new game. Like, I'm pretty sure they still sell it for a decent amount of money. But uh, Yeah, I think I saw it for like 45 bucks the other day. Yeah, that's that's silly. The game fucking approaching seven years old. And another AAA title from Rockstar has already come out. So that's yeah. just a testament to how good GTA 5 is. And I'm totally looking forward to GTA 6. Did they cause... announce that they're doing that? Or are they just like, fuck, we're just going to update this forever. <laughs> I, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure they've said that they're making GTA. They said that they're going to, but I mean, they don't have like a release date or anything. They'll probably so. milk GTA Five as long as they can. I would. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, you're still, if making, still money making you money. You might as well. Yeah, I mean, there's people. People are still buying. Like, there's like, there's like credit cards you can buy. Like, I mean, they're like in-game credit <laughs> yeah, cards. That's you know? crazy. So but yeah, you can like you put like twenty bucks and up with like ten million, like in-game currency. You know, and they just like buy fucking just ludicrous shit. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's an oldie but a fucking goldie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> G- GTA Five is my number four. Oh my gosh, I forgot how that game seems like it just came out like two years ago, <laughs> dude. Like when that game came out, we were in high school. I yeah. know. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. It was a minute ago. <laughs> oh yeah, man, now, now here crazy. it is, still rolling the airway. Right, it's still like a number. Like a high level selling game, like every year. Like oh consistently. yeah, it's always like top of the charts. Isn't it oh, the yeah. most? Didn't it sell the most copies ever of a video I th- game? I think it might have. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I know it's the most profitable video game. Oh yeah, for sure. It's also like being like it was in contention for game of the decade, and like in a bunch of fucking like votes, it did win game of the decade. So like. If Doesn't that's not me. testament enough to how good that game is. Like, I've yeah. only played it, like, bits and pieces with some friends over the years. But, like, it it's always fun. And, like, not necessarily a game I usually play, like, a kind of game I usually play. But it's it's always a blast. So, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I fucking love it. Well, Kyle, what's your number four? Well, my number four. Tyler, thanks for asking, is a, <laughs> a game that I, I semi alluded to in my number five. And I mentioned that there was uh, some sci fi first person shooters that I played. And that's because there's this beautiful little series called Halo. Oh, shit. And we've the, never talked about Halo. Never. Before. Never. I've never, never, I've never, never. I've never talked about it because oh, I wasn't in an right. episode. I was like, and I, I would have played. I would have talked about it then, too. But. Oh, they, that's right. You weren't on that. I no, I, I wasn't on the yeah. episode. <laughs> I totally forgot. Sorry. I got all hyped whenever I was listening to it. I was like, oh, shit, Halo. <laughs> but so now I'm going to say, oh, shit, Halo Reach, because Halo Reach is my f- number four. Oh, that's cool. a really good one. I like that one. Yeah, I, I really, really one. like Halo Reach. Yeah. yeah. I will never, ever forget my moments of playing Infection online and being actually terrified. <laughs> it was like <laughs> oh yeah that game actually scared the fuck out of me and it was also the game mode i played a lot i also played i remember like playing swat too and like feeling really good about myself when i like would like like the uh mode when it's just headshots only and i'd like go positive and i'd be like yeah you could say i'm a bit of a gamer <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> wow but no uh yeah i just feel like that game that game feels really good i've always been more of a sci-fi boy i like star wars and shit like that so it immediately pulled me in when i was just like do i play halo do i play call of duty oh look it got aliens and shit i'm gonna play that so i played i played that and uh i also eventually played call of duty but uh i just i really enjoyed you know halo i also like I know this isn't about it, but the campaign in that game is phenomenal, and fucking like firefight in that game is phenomenal. It's just an all around really good game. Play it because it's in the fucking pass, the the Master Chief Collection or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just recently got it and I played it and I played Infection and I was like, hee hee, I remember this I and it made me happy. <laughs> Dude, fucking <laughs> Halo Reach is like such a nostalgic game for me. Mm-hmm. Like I just remember going over to my one buddy's house and like, uh, fucking high school and we would just play infection online for like 
just hours and hours and hours and hours. It was great. Yeah, it is just it. It's like I feel like a lot of like online multiplayer, like first person shooters, like Battlefield and like Call of Duty and shit like that. Like when you go online, you play like a bunch of matches in a row. At this point in my life, it can get pretty boring over like if you play it for more than like an hour at a time. But like I will like as it just recently proved to me, I got on infection and played it for a couple hours in a row and I was just like fuck yeah this game is great like it just <laughs> it just stands up you know it, oh, yeah it's so good hell yeah man and that is why halo reach is my number four i respect that i would talk about it more but i feel like we've talked about we halo so death. much in the last yeah, no. one that oh, there's yeah. not really much else to say now i kind of figured that the the conversation would be kind of weak on it and that's okay because just because <laughs> you guys have said so much about it and I'll, right. I'll, I'll i'll cry it's fine tonight to go to sleep <laughs> but it's fine you know it's fine well i'll make you smile by talking about my number four because <gasps> it's a game that you like a whole lot more than me wow and it's overwatch I'm, wow oh. uh yeah, yeah. Uh, over overwatch killed a thing i loved but it's a very clean <laughs> game and uh i i still enjoy it now granted i hardly ever play overwatch as a matter of fact i think it's been over a year at this point since i have opened the game Wow. Uh, but I watch Overwatch League religiously, and that wouldn't exist without Overwatch. So, yeah, that's why it's my number four mainly. Also, I've it's just it's a really well done game. It's really fun. I've played it's it gorgeous. with with uh, Chipster and Cal uh, several times. I had a blast. Um, Was I good? You were bad sometimes. There was the one time I got the team kill with the tire, which will live on as my greatest moment in existence. I will never... I peaked oh, there. Wow. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> um, Yeah, I used to play DPS because it's fun, but, you know, you can't get matches as DPS, so I switched to main tank because I would get matches, and you don't have to aim, and I'm terrible at aiming, so I can just, like, swing my hammer and spin and just... Accomplish stuff, you know. Hell yeah, uh, dude. It's true. Yeah, I mean, you can do that with some with one DPS Symmetra. You can just point that bad baby anywhere and it'll kill somebody. Yeah, because she's so high tier. She's so good. <laughs> she's so good. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah, so I I really don't have a lot to say about Overwatch, uh, and I'm sure we're gonna be talking about it more later on. Maybe. So <laughs> we'll just we'll just kind of skip right through this. Yeah, and, overrated watch, and we'll uh, it fucking was at launch, but they fixed it. <laughs> oh, that's uh, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll move on. Chipper, you can just go right into your number three, dude. Kill. So I don't know if you guys heard of this game yet, but it starts with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Damn, Ooh. that's my number three as well. What does it end with? Oh shit! Oh damn! Oh, oh shit! Uh, there is not. <laughs> <laughs> it already ended. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was. Uh, you, well, hold on, Chipper. You want to just talk about it together? We played a shit ton in high school. We got to 10th prestige. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Which Jesus. is. Yeah. <laughs> That's getting the level. Was that seventy five? What was the highest that you? Could it was get uh, level seventy. I don't. Remember Wait, Chipper. That. Chipper. Yeah. You want to just talk about this together since both are number threes? Yeah. 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 Dope. Yeah. So like you, you guys made it to tenth prestige. I made it to ninth. And like, wow, it looks like you're not as cool. It looks I like know, you're right? not good enough. Yeah, it's but like, what a loser! Brothers that played the game. Well, yeah, but it was me and like literally there were six of us. Damn. Like I went to middle school with. And, like, we were on every night. Like, if we weren't playing public matches, we'd play private matches. And we'd go on, like, High Rise or Rust. And we'd have, like, 360 no-scope or quick-scope matches. Oh, nice. yeah, that shit was like, so fun. <laughs> yeah, we'd just be, like, fucking around. Like, for the most part, it was me, my buddy Chase, and my buddy Chris. Like, the three of us were, like, the three, like, higher tier of, like, my friend list. But, like, we were always on. Like, as soon as I got home from school, I'd do my homework. Bang, we're fucking playing PS3. <laughs> oh, yeah, same, same like, way. <clears throat> Except for a 360, but yeah, like we would always have a group oh, of friends. And just although I think on. I'm starting to think 360 is better than PS3. Yeah, I would say I would say the 360 <clears throat> was better console successful. than the PS3, but the PS3 had better games. True. Yeah, PS3 had better exclusives. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, yeah, dude, like Modern Warfare 2, like for a year of a year of my life has been lost. Well, I wouldn't even say lost, but it's been spent. 
<laughs> playing <laughs> Modern Warfare 2. Damn. And like yeah. the only the only reason I didn't hit 10th prestige is because like like uh in eighth grade, like football camp and all that stuff. Like I, I had a pretty busy summer. But I just remember like when I wasn't doing that, I was playing the duty. <laughs> God damn, was Fucking it good? Dude, MW2, <laughs> like super unrealistic and like kind of cartoony. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, tactical knife people from like 10 feet away i'm like that's stupid that's awesome <laughs> yeah dude, like like lock on like uh what the fuck they call it like suction yeah it was like you'd <laughs> suction into them uh so the yeah. only way you could like kill somebody is with a shotgun if because like you'd have to like pull the trigger before you even saw them basically wow uh, and then like some of the guns are like straight up retarded like you thought ump for the um 45 or whatever oh yeah the ump 45 was silly like that was like one of my go-tos that and uh the acr oh i was an acr noob tuber pro bro. Oh, <laughs> dude actually i got one of my i see I, in that game i got two tac nukes like one of them was with the acr with the new tube and then like one man army so like you just like like re like rearm yourself pretty much like Oh yeah. There's like a perk where you could like like you could cho- change classes like while you were still alive. Yeah. Oh. So you would just reselect that class and then like <laughs> immediately like re up all your ammo. Wow. Yep. So, <laughs> That's yep. cheesy it as It was hell. super, super cheating. Like like but I, I abused the hell out of it. I think they nerfed it at some point, but Yeah, they did something with it. I abused the hell out of it. But yeah, <laughs> I did I had that and then my other tack nuke, I was on the map Wasteland. You remember that map? Oh yeah, fuck. And I had the uh, the inner, yeah, I had the uh, intervention with the thermal scope. Oh shit! I lo- everybody did that shit. It was so because like you could see over the bushes from people like jumping, and you would just like snipe them. Oh dude, and then like dr- like drag scoping in that game, like like the the aim assist, like even in, like modern warfare, like now, like if you like 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 uh, rake your gun over somebody like if you were to just scroll from left to right over them you'll like slow down as you like come over them yeah you know like it'll be like fucking slow down <laughs> and then you're so past dumb. them so in modern warfare 2 that was turned up to like 11 oh yeah so like if you had like the intervention or like the bear 50 or like the wa 2000 or whatever like the intervention was the best because it was like the best like one hit killer yeah and it like and goes faster than like the because the bear it was obviously the like a one hit kill because of the fucking fifty cow but like well actually no it's like the bear was the first one you can get and I remember it like not being as epic as I thought it would be like the intervention right. like the intervention had better multipliers on it hmm, maybe you're right I, for some reason I thought the bear was like the the strongest one but yeah dude I was like I was like a drag scoping master. Like when I got my nuke, like I'd be like aiming somewhere, like I'd see someone and instantly just like like scoot over to them and fucking ice them quick, you know. Like like they didn't stand a chance. Like as soon as I as soon as I saw them, I would just rake like rake my scope over them and boom, you're done. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I got a tactical wasteland doing that. Shit was dope. Yeah. What is it? One of uh, it's my my aunt's brother, which is like yeah, my aunt's brother. Uh, he was in the top one thousand. In Call of Duty, and like we'd play with him sometimes, and it was insane to like watch it, like be on his team because like we would play Search and Destroy, and he'd be like, everybody would be dead, and he's like, you fucking idiots, I don't want to, and he would just like go around just sneaking around killing everybody. We're like, what the fuck, (laughs) dude? There was no better feeling than getting like a five on one like clutch. Oh yeah, I could never. I sucked at Search and Destroy because like deaths, like I would just die, but like team deathmatch, I was so like amazing i'd always be at least top three um because i would just like run around with the akimbo model uh 1887s or whatever oh just, dude like, the akimbo models <laughs> oh the, dude those guns were so fucking, fucking busted dude. they put <laughs> snipers in a shotgun so like you would spread shot <laughs> from across the map and what the fuck dude people. like people <laughs> the range on those things was so silly and then the akimbo and the sleight of hand and yeah it's it's the same shotgun like you see in like terminator 2 like, oh, like jesus he, he, like it's like a lever action and yeah swinging around and shit so like imagine that like i'm running around the map all fucking oppy looking and like I shoot, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like it's so silly. Like one yeah. time, like I I ran into a room, and like all six guys were, like in this building, and it was just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like one hit kills like everybody. I'm like, Jeez. dude, I'm a god. Like, 
Oh, they was so made fucking you silly. feel amazing. And then you would put the riot shield on your back, so like if someone came up behind you and shot you, you would just like turn around Nothing. and just <laughs> shoot them and turn back around and keep running. It was horrible. <laughs> that, those the guns were so bad. Oh, man. Oh, there, there are so many busted guns in that game. I fucking love it. Yeah. But it was like the game, it was like layered. Like there were so many options. Yeah, it, like, you could it, like combine certain like skills together and it would like make your class unbeatable and... Like, a lot of people would abuse certain classes, but, like, if you wanted to, you could mix some weird ones together, and it would be like, oh, that's actually really good to do that. But most people would just stick with, like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna suction into you with my knife, or I'm just gonna snipe you with a shotgun. All those kind of things. It was it was a lot of fun. So and silly. Like, yeah. The there concept were... of sniping someone with a shotgun is the oh, it, dude, <laughs> it's it was the easiest weird. concept. It wasn't even right. <laughs> like sometimes you felt nasty. Like you get a one hit kill from like fucking fifty yards away. And you're like, there's no fucking way. But hell yeah, yeah. You'd you'd be wow. like, if you got the last kill, and it was like, you you see the spread go like everywhere. But then like you'd see. It would just kill somebody. You'd be like, I think it hit the dude in the bush all the way over there. And the dude would be screaming like, you motherfucker. <laughs> just swallowing his fucking oh. mic. Oh, that, man. like, like in that game, I've never met so many guys that fucked my mother before. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so like, the lobby was so oh, full fuck. of guys telling me they fucked my mother. <laughs> that is the most relatable and the most... Unexpected thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> yeah, it's literally all Call of Duty or fucking uh, all Call of Duty lobbies were literally that. It was just trash talk, fucking like crazy. Oh uh, yeah, so shit crazy. talking everywhere. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. MW two, fuck it, dude. Great game. I'm getting chills just thinking about how like fucking like like I said, I spent a year of my life. <laughs> yeah, it's been just so long. Balls deep in MW two. Hell yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Chipper. That's our number three. Yeah, Tyler. That's now, Bron Kyle. What's my oh, number what three, dude? My, my bad. <laughs> my bad. It's, it's Kyle. It's Kyle, it's Kyle, Kyle. <laughs> no, I mean, Those like, I already praised Call of Duty a ton. And the only reason why I don't have uh, Modern Warfare 2 on there, because I hear everyone talk about it all the time, is because uh, I actually didn't own that one. That was, like, one that I just kind of, like, missed oh, in, so like, the rotation of games. Like, I played with my friends, and I really had a good time. But because I didn't own it, I didn't play it as much myself. So, like... Black Ops 2 just like got in before it. So, but I appreciate it because a lot of people say it's the best Call of Duty. So, cool. cool. Um, but my number three is uh, a little a little game in the genre called the Battle Royale. Um, it's, a little, it's a little popular right now. Um, we got some games that are pretty popular in the Battle Royale realm. And one of them is uh, pretty good. You know, you you get in there, you buy your skins and... Uh, Got a lot of following. Got a little, some uh, a little dancing going on. Are you we all about know, to fucking We all know what Fortnite. I'm talking about. Just saying, you know what it is. It. <laughs> My number three is Apex Legends. Fuck Fortnite. Wait, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, no, I have yes. respect. I have Apex respect. <laughs> yeah, no. I, uh, I, I'm okay with Fortnite. It did a lot of things for the genre <laughs> that, uh, you know wouldn't have done on its own i guess without it and uh you know it's, yeah, it's whatever fortnite's okay but apex Legends is way fucking better uh so it's made by a company called respawn uh and they're the same company that made titanfall a series that almost took this spot it's kind of hard because like i played the a shit ton of online multiplayer in titanfall and titanfall 2 uh but so i have good. been i have put so many hours into apex legends at this point i have a good amount of friends who play it I played it on PC and Xbox. I played more on Xbox, but it like plays like Titanfall. And I always felt decently good at Titanfall's gunplay versus like other first person shooters. So oh, it's so good. The other thing is they do such a good job, like adding content to Apex Legends. Like the most recent uh, fucking big update was into season four. It's called Assimilation. They did a ton of storytelling to introduce the new character that you can play as uh, named Revenant. And it was so good. I was so enthralled. What they did was they fucking announced a character named Forge and gave him a bunch of hype and like talked about what he could do in the game and all this shit. And then all of a sudden, a week before the event started, they fucking killed him. Like they just had a cutscene where he fucking died. And this other character was actually the character that took his place and entered the games. And I was like, geez, what? I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared. Uh, 
But uh, it was really cool. My theory is that he was like a test character. They didn't like exactly how he worked. And so they were like, let's have some fun. And then they added Revenant instead. But uh, but yeah, no, I just like the gunplay in this game is really good. I really enjoy the way they do like so many things like like looting is really like I like it more in this game than others. Uh, I fucking like the the way they organize guns because like each of them has like a different ammo type and then like each of them has like specific attachments but some of them like work on the same gun like it's a whole thing I could go on forever about it but I actually the the biggest thing difference between Apex Legends and my other two first person shooters that I've picked up to this point is I actually feel good at this one I actually have wins in this game other than other battle royales that I don't really have a lot of wins in I really like Apex Legends. It's a very good game. And it's free, so go fucking download it and play it. Not sponsored, but it's really good. <laughs> so go play it. I, I play Apex Legends a lot. I hate Battle Royale games, but all my a lot of like my friends are back home and like mm-hmm. my brothers love Apex Legends, so I play it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely the most fun because like we've tried PUBG and whatnot and they all got into that, but it was so slow. Apex is more fun for me like mm-hmm. i can definitely tolerate it as a game uh for like a a battle royale mm-hmm. um i do like how there's abilities in it which makes it yeah unique i mean i think call of duty did that as well with their yeah they, they did a little bit with uh the, the one they game had, like perks and stuff yeah well, yeah they, they have, have perks but they also had that one game where like you actually played as was it was it four was black ops four well, yeah black was, was four it had the, the, battle the royale. blackout did, I thought yeah. Blackout had abilities. I don't know. Yeah, well, they were they were perks. Like oh, that's you. They were like little green boxes you could pick up on the yeah, battlefield, yeah. and you'd get oh, like, okay. You know, like sleight of hand. You'd get fucking like oh okay, your juggernaut and shit like that. Okay, yeah. so this is like completely unique, and that makes it even yeah. a little. That makes it a little bit cooler. Yeah, well, um, it's like it, it. If you need something compared to like anyone who's listening, uh, is like how Overwatch has like characters that have specific abilities on cooldowns and shit. That like every when you go into a game of Apex Legends, uh, it's always in teams of three, and they every once in a while they do events where it's like teams of two or solos or whatever. Uh, and then you each pick a legend, and there's I don't know how many there are now. I think maybe 12? 12, 12, 12 yeah, now something. I think. With with Revenant added now, I think it's twelve. But uh, and each of you picks one character. You can't do more than one of the same character, and it's a team of three. And each of them has a passive ability that's always active. Uh, there is a tactical ability which is like your left bumper, and it has a shorter cooldown. And then you have your ultimate ability which has like a bigger effect, and it has a lot longer, like huge cooldown. You have to like wait really long for it, and like use it tactically very well. Well, not tactically because yeah. it's the other thing's called tech. But whatever. Uh, it's fucking. It's really cool. I really like it. Uh, yeah, it's my number yeah. three. I really enjoyed it. Put a lot of time yeah. into it. It's a good time. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I if you it. want to get into battle royales, Apex is definitely the best one. Yeah, don't get sucked into Fortnite. Don't get addicted. Don't it is addicting. It's, it's a real thing. I've gotten addicted in the past <laughs> to it. I don't like it. I just played it one time because I was like, "Well, what's this hype about?" And I got fucking addicted. I spent money, and I was. I, it's a regret. I hate it. Don't do wow. it. Money on Fortnite. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, this is like, so much less. This is worse than like alcoholism. It's just I. Just, I feel dirty. I feel like a bad person. Like I <laughs> wasted my fucking life and time and money. I do Fortnite. like I look back at Fortnite and I go, oh no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but not all things about it were bad, obviously. But yeah, mm-hmm. don't don't waste your time. Play play a good one. Like Apex Legends. Or maybe the new Modern Warfare one. Maybe that'll be good. I hope it'll be good. Tyler, what's your number Tyler. three? My number three is the most fun shooter game I've ever played in my entire life. I highly doubt it's still going because it was for the PS3. Uh, slash that generation of uh, consoles. But it's a little game called Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Oh, and boy, shit. howdy, was that game way more fun than it deserved to be. Wait, um, what? <laughs> yeah, the, I don't know if I ever showed you this game, but the multiplayer for that, you got to make your own fucking Transformers. It was a third-person shooter, and oh. it was like... It was crazy. So, like, each... There were four different classes, um, and they each were assigned to a different vehicle and then, like, a different, like, type. So, um, like, if you wanted to be a tank, then you could turn into a tank. Or uh, in, like, your your humanoid form, you would get, like, really, like, heavy weaponry, like, uh, like miniguns and shit. Um, and then they each had abilities, too, and you could unlock, like, different abilities for each class. Haven't played it in a super long time. So I don't really remember the abilities at all. 
Um, but I mainly played Medic, which was the uh, the Jet class, or just like Air class, because you get helicopters and shit too, yeah. and bugs. Like, there's lots of crazy shit you could unlock. It was awesome. Um, yeah, and then like your abilities, were, you could either like heal people, um, or you could get like a drone that would like like fire at people, like a turret kind of. Um, and then you get like, I, I want to say they had like, uh, I know there was a buzzsaw gun. That was kind of cool. That was like but, my favorite gun. No, I yeah. think I like the shotgun the best, but. Oh yeah. I think that was for like the, the car class. Yeah. The scouts. Was the shotgun. Yeah. They were the scouts. They were like real quick. And like, I think one of their abilities was like invisibility or something, but just like the fucking, since you have like all of the, that wide variety of like a bit different abilities you can get. All the different vehicles. You can make your own fucking transformer. Like that alone, like sells the game for me. Like it's not like you just like pick a car and then like do it. It's like no, you like change all their different body parts and their color scheme, and you can give them like ah, uh, oh, it's so fucking fun. And then like the fights are just so dynamic because you're like you you go into a lobby, you mute the children, and then you're just oh, yeah. you're off. You can be a vehicle. You can be a vehicle if you want. You can be a guy if you want. You can you just switch between them on the fly to like you know do different things so you're basically switching between like two weapons in your human form and then you can transform into a fucking vehicle and you get different shit in there mixed with your abilities and it's just like oh my god it was so like crazy fun just because of the sheer variety of ways there were to like traverse the maps and kill each other like i miss playing that game like that was the most fun like online experience i've ever had other than obviously the next two on my list um, definitely the most fun shooter game I've ever played. Like, I really, really, really wish they would, like, remaster that game on, like, modern-day consoles. I would play the fuck out of it. So good. And it is a damn shame that, like, uh, you know, uh, Kyle and Brennan, you guys will never get to experience this well, you, you wonderful, 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 wonderful gem well, I think of a game. Actually, yeah, I think you played it, uh, at the dorm. I might have. One time. Yeah, because I think, surprisingly, like... The servers for that game were like still going pretty strong, yeah. like into the PS4's like life cycle. It was right. wild. Like you would go on and you would get matched up like instantly with a full lobby of people. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing you play. Like uh, we were in. The, I mean, you might have been playing the campaign. Was there a campaign? Yeah, there's a campaign. The campaign was sick. Also. Yeah, I think you're playing the campaign. Whenever I saw you play it. Yeah, but it did look pretty fucking neat. It was as far as like being able to switch and like the different things you could do. Oh yeah. Like, that's something that you're not going to get from, like, any other shooter game. It's just the sheer variety of shit you can do with your character. You know, you're not going to be able to turn into a fucking car when you're playing Call of Duty, you know? No. You're not, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man, it's... I, I, I don't even know what else to say about it. Like, it was just pure chaos, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So much fun. The one time you showed me that game, I was like, what the fuck are we about to play? And then we continued to play for like ten hours straight or something. Oh, we play, yeah, we played it like the whole day. I was like, like, and I looked at the time. I was like, it's fucking dark out. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't eat yet, like we Tyler. just kept. Yeah, I know. Like we just kept like going back in and like making new characters and then like hopping back into lobbies and like. Oh my god, that was I a think, good day. Yeah, we were like. I think we were trying to lock all the dinosaur like heads or something for each. Something like, like that. Class, yeah, I think we were trying we're to like, unlock we something did crazy. It. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I, so I, I miss that game. It's so fun. Yeah, if um, they ever remade that, I would instantly pre-order it. And like, <laughs> if I could get oh, a yeah. edition right away, do it. Oh, absolutely. I'd go into debt to like get that game on modern <laughs> consoles. It was so for fun. for real. But it's like if they put up a Kickstarter to remaster that, I would like give them the whole money that they needed. Like <laughs> I would put to... myself into crippling debt just so I could play that game debt. again. So good. Dope. But yeah. Uh, Chipper, I'm assuming that this is not your number two. No. So why don't you tell us what your number two is? Yeah. Um, man, I'm going back and forth with my number one and number two because on one hand, I find this game more fun, but not too many people. Okay, so I'll just, I'm going to decide right now. So my number two is Overwatch. Yeah. Nice. Overwatch, baby. Uh, I love the competitive feel of it. It's, I'm not a very competitive person. In like games, cause life's already stressful enough. 
<laughs> so why That's make fair. it more stressful by playing games that are stressful as well? Um, Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch is like the only they one where I'm playing like, oh. games. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Overwatch is. I'm oddly good at it. Not like amazing, but like, you know, if I play rank, I I do I pull my part and I. Sometimes don't, you know, but most of the time I feel like I'm good at this game and it's fun because it's something I understand, unlike most like online games that involve like tactics um, and communicating with your teammates. Uh, I oddly enough, I win a lot without communicating with my teammates other than just like weird little signals that you can do in the game. Like, um, uh, there are, like, certain things that you can just, like, do, like, move your character back and forth and be like, hey, go this way or go that way, stuff like that. Um, but I like how this game gives a lot of, uh, what is it, like, I don't know, like, the characters in this game are very in-depth for an online-only game. Yeah. Which is crazy that they did that much character building in, in a game, and, like, you just have so much attachment to the characters that you like um, because they've built this world that they keep like releasing videos for like little cool animations and you're just like wow now i even i like this character a lot more than i did before i really liked it but now i like it a lot more and like it's a game that i play with my brothers um often because it's one of the only games that they update regularly that we play together and whenever we all play together uh we all do pretty well it's really fun to like communicate shout like commands like hey i'm going i need healing over here or hey let's do this like i want you up top i'm gonna go down here whenever they come through that door we're gonna like gank them from up top and behind and while that's going on you uh come up from behind them again and just use your all or whatever and i also like how unique the abilities are in this game there's a lot of variety um i mean a lot of like mobas have varieties too but like i said in league and dota it's hard to like follow any of that and a lot of people will say you know this game is just team fortress 2 it kind of is, but there's a lot more characters. It was at launch. They, it was, yeah. made it, it's, it's definitely surpassed that at this point. But Yeah, de- definitely, <laughs> like, that's at launch, it, it definitely would not have been. Like, if it stayed how it was at launch, it would not have been on my list at all. But yeah. I love how they've grown so much in this game. They, I feel like they care about the fans. They're like, hey, let's, we're going to try things. And they, they let you know that, hey, this is kind of a test. If it doesn't go well, we're not doing it. Usually it goes over well. Uh, the fans are pretty toxic at times, but Extremely most of the time yes. they're... You'll have that with pretty much any yeah, fan any base. Really. With yeah, exactly. Games, so but so they only take like con- actual feedback and listen. Like, so, like They won't listen to people who are like, uh, I'm going to kill your family unless you change <laughs> this DPS's stats. Like, all right, well, obviously your opinion doesn't matter, so... But yeah, they, they <laughs> add so many game modes in there, like weekly, uh, and like they do a lot of fun events, which is really awesome that they care that much to keep up on this stuff. Because there's a lot of holidays and events that they do. Um, the skins are pretty cool, I would say overall. They do a good job with that, and you don't have to buy the currency at all if you don't want to, because you can't buy the currency. But... You don't, have to, you don't have to spend money on this game except for to buy it, like buy the game. Once you buy, you don't the game, have to because you can. <laughs> yeah, and that's the best motivation. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. But yeah, um, it's really fun, and then they put in like how you can make your own game modes, which is really interesting for this type of game to do such like a really creative and fun thing where like people are making fighting games in this they're making like king like weird games where like you have to climb up things that are outside of the map like you can mess with that stuff and it's so strange and cool and like someone made flappy bird in the game 
Oh, combat. nice. Yeah, so you can just... Now I'm going to get back into Overwatch. That's all I needed to hear. Flappy Bird. <laughs> my weakness. That is the game of the decade. They made Flappy Bird in it. Game of the decade. I, that's that's a it. game of the millennia. Nothing is ever going to top Flappy Bird. I don't know, man. Iron Pants. Iron Pants? Iron, Iron Pants sucks ass. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> game is, Iron it, Pants is just harder. Yeah, it's just harder and not fun. <laughs> Flappy Bird is wow. a game... For kings, okay. No, Flappy Bird, Flappy Bird is an elegantly crafted game. I mean, you're the right. But Iron Pants is more game. difficult. Making Iron it Pants more of a harder title to achieve. Iron Pants making is like king, the right? fucking backwoods crack addict version of Flappy Bird. <laughs> Get like, the fuck sure, guys, it's like uncultured, way. man. Get the fuck People guys. who play Iron Pants probably like fucking eat their teeth. Like, well, I do eat my teeth. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Interesting. Okay. Wow, we're having a debate. <laughs> Flappy Bird versus Iron Pants. It's un- uncontested. Flappy Bird is the greatest game of all time. No. That's okay. That's why we're never even going to have that. Wait, okay. Actually, right, no, we're, we're not talking about greatest games of all time right now. We're just talking about greatest online. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So Flappy Real Bird doesn't quick. qualify, unfortunately. True, true. Um, like, d- don't keep this in. But debate topic? <laughs> Oh, so you're iron, iron, iron pants? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, please. Man. Okay. So yeah, back to it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going back in now. <laughs> but yeah. What the fuck? I was wondering, where do they come up with this shit? <laughs> we'll come up with what, iron pants or overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> the iron pants oh. and flappy bird and like fucking... Bored uh, ass programmers. That's what that's what happens. True. Anyways, Chipper, finish it out. Yeah, so that's that's my number two? Is that what we're yeah. on? Yeah, we're yeah, on two. two. Yeah, Overwatch. It's a really fun game. Um it's brutal. That's all. Yeah, and the Houston Outlaws suck it! Oh, they're so yeah, bad! They're horrible. How can they do this to me? <laughs> they hire, they get good players, and they're still bad. What is what, good what players? I, my ass. They were good. They got fucking <laughs> Mecco they? from New York. Are were you kidding they good? me? Yeah, were they ever good? I don't, think, I don't think they were ever good. No, 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 no. I meant like show the me a winning season signed. they've had. Oh wait, winning season <laughs> no. <You> can't. <laughs> oh shit. Anyway, Brennan. They're like the yeah. Browns. They are. They really are. Oh yeah. This season, the unless they make a retarded comeback by the time this drops. I doubt it, though. Yeah. They won a game, though, so we can win. <laughs> we know we can win one. <laughs> You're yeah. lucky they were at a home crowd <laughs> where they had people fucking screaming their names, crying because they wanted them to win, and it somehow managed to muster every bit of being in Houston Outlaws' bodies to push them over the top. Also, all of Toronto was deathly ill that day, and they couldn't fucking see. But you know, yeah, it's okay. fine. You know, it's. it's I, did, I, I've, I've fucking awoken something. I did not mean to trigger a, no, it's a whole it's rant about the Houston Outlaws. Before I start Brennan, yelling, let's, Brennan, let's Brennan, Brennan, Brennan before this gets out of hand, what's your number uh, two? <laughs> oh man, when I saw the trailer for this game, I was immediately blown away, and I could not wait to get my hands on it. Um, it's a series I've loved for a long time. Um, I was absolutely psyched to see them go to World War One, and it completely, there was another complete expenditure, except this time of one year of my life, it was two years of my life. Ooh, damn. And this game is Battlefield 1. Ooh, yeah. I love Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 was excellent. It was, a lot of people think Battlefield 4 is better and like I can see why, oh, but it's like closer to me. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much more I get out of Battlefield One. Like, like I said, like I'm a I'm a history buff myself. So like seeing them actually like kick it back to like that like time, like like no like there's no World War One games like right. ever, you know. And the fact that like a triple A title like took it on like by the horns and crafted it into a game that was like visually spectacular, like. Like you like whenever you loaded into a game, like you felt like you were at like, you know, like the German spring offensives, or you were at like the Battle of the Somme, or you were at Gallipoli, or you know, you were like the Austro Hungarian army. Like it was fucking wild. Like I mean, granted it's not super realistic as far as like how actual war would be conducted, but like, you know, just like the realism of like, you know, the sound effects, the visuals, the you know, hearing men shriek when they're on fire. 
<laughs> are you telling me people are not like, riding on top of blimps, shooting and sniping people from above? That's the world I mean, that's, I remember. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how war works, bro. Like. I mean, they had like machine gunners and zeppelins and stuff, but yeah, 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 yeah. But people running on <laughs> top of zeppelins, snipers. <laughs> no, not not realistic yeah. in the slightest. No, but that shit was fun. <laughs> yeah, and then like it, I thought it was crazy. Like like if you had a zeppelin in the sky and then you managed to shoot it down, okay, now you have this giant heap of burning, flaming, on fire metal and canvas like crashing towards the earth, and now it's a part of the map. Yep. <laughs> so, that's pretty awesome like now you have to like fight amongst the rubble of you know a down zeppelin and like whatever buildings are brought down with it like it, it was just so insane like like they had this game mode called operations which is like the closest thing to like an actual like battle where like one side would be attacking but like that side would only have so many like respawns like so many like reinforcements right usually 250 was like the magic number. Although some maps were 350 just because it was chaos. Yeah. And then like the other side would have to defend like these sectors. And they had like unlimited respawns. So and usually like sectors were like two flags. So like the attacking team would take like two flags. All right. If they took it, then they had to clear it, meaning like all of like the defenders that are trying to retreat into like their sector like further back. If they managed to kill them, that also gets some more respawns. But, of course, as a defending team, you don't want them to take sectors. And then, like, eventually, like, if the attacking team just keeps taking sectors, then they can win the map. But the cool thing about operations, it was always, like, two parts. Like, the first one that came out with the game, like, the one I was playing was called the Kaiser Schlock, which means the Kaiser's Battle, which was the spring offensive in 1918. It was, like, Germany's, like, last chance to win the war, like, in the actual war. And uh, so, basically, like, it's, like, the German army just, like, advancing over like trench lines and like taking over like you know like a little town called saint saint quentin and like you could take over that part but then like if you won you would advance to a town called amien which in real life was like the germans like main main objective because it was like this like railroad hub for like supplies and shit but like you know in real life they obviously didn't take it because you know they ended up losing the war but like you know you could like advance through this town and like you know there's tanks like rolling over like rubble and shit like blowing up buildings and yeah, you, know, you just see like chaos, like bullets flying around, and you're like manning a machine gun, just like chopping up crowds. Like it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Like, like just send the fucking like, like me and Zach used to joke about it. Like fucking sending the hunt on the run. <laughs> you know, like it, it was just, oh, it was so like fucking just the epicness of it. You know, and I feel kind of bummed that they like completely jumped the ball with Battlefield Five, but that's a whole other discussion. Yeah. But Battlefield 1, man, like I said, I I sunk a good two years of my life. I mean, like, interrupted briefly by other titles, but, you know, from 2000, late 2016 to 2018, it was my shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> what I liked about that is, like, it kind of had, like, a Battlefield Bad Company 2 feel to it, where, like... Oh, yeah. Just dis- total destruction of the map, which I loved. Uh, because like in Modern Warf- or not Modern, I'm sorry, like Battlefield Four and like Three, since there were like skyscrapers and shit, they were like, we can't just like make every single building like destructible because there's going to be too much glass particles running around, and we- our- the game can't handle that on console or like PC. So going back to where like, oh, there's like not that much, there's not too many like buildings <clears throat> that like they. Like, there are a lot of buildings that you could destroy, like, in, like, the maps that were, like, fields. It was, like, you could completely destroy a building. So, basically, that's all that's left is, like, the main building of the map. Like, on <clears throat> that, like, castle map or, like, wh- which one was it where, like, the field, the Zeppelin map, that one was really fun where, like, there's the huge field and there's, like, a bunch of houses and, like, the more you advanced, there'd be, like, more houses in the field and, like, you would just blow up all of the houses and it just felt so satisfying or like you would run through <laughs> like a tank and it felt so good and i'm glad like like they brought that back because it it felt so weak in um battlefield four and like three yeah like in battlefield one you couldn't destroy everything but you could get like damn close yeah pretty <laughs> much yeah like like the only things you couldn't destroy were like things that were actually like pivotal to yeah. like game, like just gameplay, like you know, like if you were to just blow up like a certain piece of cover, like okay, well, 
like that team would be at like an extreme disadvantage or if it was like a building where like that like house an objective yeah like you obviously you couldn't blow up that stuff that's what i meant like the because there are like big buildings that you would fight on it's like well that's like the main point like that's what the the army that was defending like, like they're not going to just like blow that up let, or let you blow that up which kind of sucked, but it made sense. Like, it, like that was where the objectives were. You could yeah. That was more. Level. That was more of like a gameplay thing. Yeah. Or like if we like love like let them level this, then you know gameplay is just gonna be like like it's just gonna be like a mishmash. Yeah. And then like like at the end of the life cycle, like you know that's when they started getting into like actual like trench maps and just fucking like 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 a they had a map called Passchendaele. Um. And it was basically like it just felt like every time I played it, it was just like a big mosh pit. <laughs> Pretty much like, like just you know, men get like bayoneted and then like you know, it's like a machine gun just like chopping down everyone and oh, like if it, it, it felt like 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 the realest sense of what that could have possibly felt like. You know, obviously I can't like hop back a hundred years and like be in World War One, but like right, you know, that's probably the closest we'll ever get, unless like VR like really ups like really steps up the game. But yeah, my number two. I fucking love it. I still sometimes go back and play it a little bit. It's uh, Battlefield 1. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, Kyle. Hey, what's up, Tyler? Hey, what's your number two? Tyler, I'm so glad you asked me. It's really cool that you asked. Um, my number two <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> is a game, Tyler, that you... Tyler. It's a game... I think it's also my number two. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just based on the, how you're starting this up. Tyler, Tyler, I'm going to start this off by saying some of my fondest memories in high school came from us playing this game. Oh, same here. Hands down. Same here, uh, good buddy. It is a lovely little indie game called Awesome Knots. Awesome Knots gets my dick rock hard. Woo! I have, oh my God. I mean, you're right. Like, I, I have so, so many memories of like, the fucking tail end of high school and like all of my college career oh. were just so many hundreds of hours logged into this game. You you uh, say hundreds of hours. In fact, I have mine up right now and it says I have played the game 290 hours. Uh, so I was probably on par with me. I don't remember my exact uh, hour count, but it was something like that. Um, Man. Yeah. Like it's for those of you who don't know, Awesome Knots is a MOBA. But it is done in the style of a platformer, like akin to Mario. So like you have it's like three v three, and then you have to like take out the opponent's base, uh, the opposing team's base, and there's turrets in the way, in the lanes that have health bars, and they'll like shoot at you. So you have to like lead the minions up to like shield all the damage from the turret, and then you can blow up the turret and like work your way back to their base. And it's the absolute like perfect gateway boba because the the like it has the easiest like uh trying to think of the the word learning curve yeah yeah it has like the easiest learning curve like it is super easy to like get into and and learn the ropes and actually be able to like be semi-successful when you're playing it like you don't feel overwhelmed when you boot up awesome knots like you do with a lot of other mobas like it's really easy to catch on and that just makes it a lot more fun because it gets you into like higher level play quicker um, than a lot of other MOBAs. And the characters are just great. I mean, there's so many like just really, really lovable characters and designs and like goofy shit. Like it's so like Looney Tunesy almost. Like it's very, yeah. it's so just like childish cartoons that like. Their designs give me nostalgia for things that, like, they're not absolutely related to at all. But I'm just like, fuck. I'm like, I'm playing a Saturday morning cartoon. Like, Yeah, that's it, really it's, what it feels like. That is the best way of putting it. I mean, yeah. when you have characters named shit like Derplezork, I mean, like, you're going to... Yes. <laughs> it evokes a certain kind of, like, childlike uh, cartooniness. Um, I mean, like, my, my dude is like a fucking time wizard, uh, crazy old man mechanic that shoots out hologram dinosaurs Damn. hologram robot dinosaurs Damn. uh yeah just each character has just like so much going on and it's it's awesome it just makes you get really attached to certain characters like um 
and like they all have very unique play styles too oh yeah no um, it, it really impresses like, me because like i feel like games like overwatch and shit they have like like a lot of characters feel similar but, yeah like in like this game archetypes. no one feels similar in this game and there's a lot yeah, of characters really. yeah yeah the roster got pretty big i mean i don't think they've added anybody in a couple years at this point but um I'm curious, for a though. while there they were just cranking characters out like every few months it seemed like so the roster is like decently big now yeah. um yeah and i mean legitimately like if i had one game that would just define like my late teens <laughs> and like college you know it would be awesome knots that's like the first game that like comes to mind spent yeah. so many just nights and afternoons playing online with with kyle and Oh man, and we would have like land parties sometimes where like yeah. <laughs> you know me and you and like a couple other people would get together and we would just like play all night long and try to like level up our characters and unlock new shit. Like, oh man, like I I don't know if I have like that much personal attachment to like any other game because like I don't think I went that hard at any other, especially online game with like anybody else. Mm-hmm. So just the nostalgia. And the the memories and the personal attachment alone had to like it had to be this high up on my list. Like yeah. I could not like even this was, debate putting it on lower for sure. And like I f- it almost made my number one. It, it's very close, very very close. There's just Same. some things about my number one that I'm like, yeah, it's my number one. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like I I don't think I've ever told you this, Tyler. But like there were times where like we would play and like there would be other people over. And we'd be like, oh, we would play. And they would like pick a different game. And I would be like legitimately bummed that we weren't playing Awesome Knots. Because I'd be like, fuck, I just want to play Awesome Knots. Why is someone else coming over? Like, <laughs> like I yeah. just always like, there, there wasn't a time where we would play Awesome Knots and I would be bummed. At its yeah. purest moment, at its purest like description of this game, it is pure fun. Like, it is just. Yeah. I don't know. I I will always think fondly of those days. And as a follow up, Tyler, we should play Awesome Knots sometime. <laughs> we, we really played... should. That'd be so much fun. Dude. Especially I... since they have fucking custom map support now. So like, I know they added that like yeah. near the time when we kind of stopped playing. But mm-hmm. um, so I just want to see like how many fucking custom maps exist now. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's like, like it would years. be diving into like the most massive library at this point. Oh yeah, like, the fact that we haven't touched it at all. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to start playing Awesome Nuts again, especially since my number one game just got canned. So yeah, uh. I don't have that anymore. But we'll get to there. Um, uh, yeah, no. <sighs> maybe, maybe at some point, I like on a weekend where like I'm not doing anything you're not doing anything and we decide not to play fighting games I'll come up and we'll just <laughs> fucking play Awesome Knots for fun dude does so- Dan play Awesome Knots I don't I think Dan tried playing Awesome Knots I'm not I sure I still have Awesome Knots cause it's uh, yeah you like barely ever played <laughs> yeah <clears throat> it's cause I had to pay for characters I'm like oh I don't want I want that character well it's free to play now so it's like free rotation yeah yeah, How, can, can you unlock the characters without? Yeah, buying? you can like buy them, <gasps> or I I don't know if you can unlock them like in game, but oh. you, can, you can buy like individual characters if you. See, want. that's what I mean. I I don't. I, I have them all because I bought all. I bought the full Same. game and all the expansions when they Same. cost money. Yeah, I went hard I at that. I bought skins. I bought like. Mm-hmm. I was invested in that game. Holy and shit! It we never felt invested. like I was wasting money. Uh, Even that, though, like, I remember, like, my girlfriend at the time, like, I bought that Ray Lynn skin. Yeah. With, like, the, like, the, she had the hood and, like, the armor was super cool looking. And she, like, came over and was watching me play it and stuff. And she, like, commented about, like, the character looked different. I was like, oh, yeah, I bought a skin. She's like, with real money? I was like, it was two bucks. Calm down. I still <laughs> bought you dinner. Like, so <laughs> cool your jets, lady. <laughs> oh, my God. She got, like, legitimately mad that I, like, spent money on a skin for a character in a I, re- game. I remember you telling me that story, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> Still so, kills me. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. I, oh, like, man. the amount of times that we had, like, moments. Because, like, we would play characters that, like, we, like, teamed up very well together. Like, I remember oh, we had, yeah. like, 18 Yeah, we came up with some pretty nasty comps. Like, yeah. we, we came up with, like, uh, like combos for, like, our moves. What was the one? Oh, you I played Sentry and I played Raylin. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, like, I had, like, 
my attack would like suck everyone into one place if I launched it correctly, and then yeah. his would just be a giant fucking beam that shot straight forward. So if everyone was in one place, he'd just be well, like, no, because oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Because I because like you you would launch your um the black hole thing that would suck mm-hmm. them in. I would throw down my like uh damage field. <gasps> yeah, that was and it. I would, up, yeah, I would upgrade it so it was just a fucking tower of yeah. like lightning. So they would just con- they would just get <laughs> melted down, and then like. The, it would like explode. They would have one pixel of health, and I would just snipe them, and then they would just die. Oh. And it would like, <laughs> like if they managed to survive the whole thing. And like we called it something, and I don't remember what it was. We oh, the lag it? vortex. That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. Because was it literally say. lagged the game because there was <laughs> so much like just ludicrousy <laughs> happening in one spot between like every single ability we would use on top of us just like attacking normally oh, yeah. while it was all going on. We would it fucking so lose fun. all the frames, and it would be fucking. We'd be like the lag vortex. There is nothing like, more satisfying. <laughs> Ever, than just like trapping some like helpless soul <laughs> in our, just like our combo of death. You'd be like one so dude good. just kind of like Roman, like I'm gonna get some health up here. And we'd be like, you're dead now. <laughs> just, like, just like pop like- out of the bush and be like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I really and like talking about this just makes know, me dude. really want to play this again. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. So I, I we, we won't we won't gush about Astronauts anymore. Yeah, yeah, but, we can, we'll but, move on. But, but holy man. shit, man, Astronauts, what a fucking check it out if you haven't joy. played it. Oh, yeah. it's so good. Whew. Well, I think we're, we're on, on number the, ones. Yeah, yeah, we're on number ones now. Yeah. yeah. And Chipper. Chipper. I know, <laughs> I know what yours is. <laughs> so you Sorry. should tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, so my number one is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 1 and 2. Yes! yes! Because yes! I love that game, dude. It's so fucking fun. <laughs> that game is a fucking blast, dude. That game, is, that game just makes me happy. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that game is just like pure happiness in game form. If you don't know, this game is made by Pop Cap Slat and uh, is it produced by... <laughs> Post a EA? cap in your ass. <laughs> yeah. That's like all I thought of when you said that. <laughs> So it's like the classic uh, Plants vs. Zombies characters if you've ever played the phone game, which is just a tower defense game. So they take some characters from there and they make them into like 3D model full playable characters that you can walk around. And basically it's it's Plants vs. Zombies mixed with Battlefield because (laughs) they literally do like have a lot of the same game modes that Battlefield has. And like they'll name them similar things, but with like plant puns. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, and the reason I love this I, I was kind of in between it making my number one is because nobody ever plays it with me. <laughs> like there's tons of people always playing it and yeah. I love it like it makes me the happiest like it's an online game that makes me the happiest because nothing makes me laugh harder than like <laughs> getting sniped or like getting killed by like a, f- a football player wearing like a freaking sandcastle hat and a <laughs> rainbow mustache and well, right <laughs> wearing like glowing disco colors and shit it's insane like the character customization items in this game are insane there's so many i actually have no idea how many there are in this game yeah it's kind of insane it's and there there is just like a certain joy that comes with like headshotting someone as a corn cob wrapped in tin foil that like you can't you yeah. can't get that feeling in any other game right this is like, the realest thing I've ever heard anyone say it's so <laughs> and weird and I love it that game and, also like, you does get not different... be oh go ahead sorry my bad oh sorry I was just gonna say like uh along with the customization things you can also unlock different variants of each class yeah so like yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like like if you get the corn cob guy like you can get barbecue corn and then he has like fire attributes and like different things it'll it'll like change up their play style a little bit you get like a vampire sunflower and then you'll like you'll heal yourself when you deal damage and you'll look like a vampire uh yeah you know, and, and sometimes it'll like change up their their style more so than than others because I feel like there was one variation of the cactus that i used to play that made him like a completely different fucking character oh yeah like it that's the thing so there are most of them so let's say i'm i don't know i forget how many are actually in the game in gun warfare 2 where it's like yeah let's say there's 10 players so each of those 10 players so they each have the same um four variants like uh there's fire there's ice there's electricity and then there's poison and, and stuff like that. Each of them has those. And then each of them will have 
like three or four other variants that makes them a completely different character than each of the other ones. Like the cactus one, he there's like a futuristic cactus cactus where like you could charge shot it and it does oh, an yeah, insane yeah. amount of damage and it would do a splash damage. And there'd be like triple burst cactuses and like you can it would change the playstyle kind of I wouldn't say drastically, but it would be enough to where it's like, oh this is this is different now. Like I'm having yeah a different experience with this character, and it's a lot of fun. Right, and because that just adds like so much replayability to it because oh, you're constantly yeah. unlocking new characters with basically completely new functions. Yeah, and at that on top of the customization and like the sheer variety of game types, like it's it's insane. Like I love that game. Yeah, it almost made my list. Honestly, like same same yeah. I honestly forgot about it until you just because like I played the first one like a good bit like oh, when I had originally a lot and like I just like kind of fell away from it and then like the second one came out and I just didn't like I don't know whether or not it was like there's other games coming at the same time or whatnot but like I just didn't get it and I was like oh yeah I remember that game it was really fun that game like has absolutely no right to be as polished as it is like right? holy <laughs> fuck it it's is insane. gorgeous why is it, it so is good so looking beautiful. for fucking yeah. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare like what the fuck right yeah, who knew that this a tower defense game would turn into like one of the prettiest games in of this generation right because it, it legit stand like the graphics stand up and like the gameplay stands up to what it is like it, it's yeah. glitchy at times with like I think that's just the servers and that's because yeah yeah it's ea and ea has some pretty shoddy servers sometimes but um, right it's still like the gameplay whenever you have the games running fine which is most of the time uh it's just really smooth it's really fun um and there's like i said it's kind of like battlefield there's uh, i want to say brendan how many people are in uh, battlefield one on each team uh what well, depends on the game mode like, uh, if you play Operations, you could have, like, 64. You could have, like, 34 or okay, 32 on each side. Yeah, so there's, like, 32 on each side sometimes. Or, like, I think 25 might be the max, something like that. But so yeah. there's 50 There's a people lot of people, game. though. Yeah. 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 Like, they're big matches. Yeah, and it's... They're, it's uh, it kind of... Like, they have that game mode, like, uh, Brendan, like, Operations, where it's, like, you have to advance forward. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, uh, they have that in, uh, <laughs> in this, too. Zombies. It's, yeah. it's really cool. It's awesome and there's other game modes that you can play there's the, and they still kind of have like the tower defense mode where it's like you pick a, a a garden or uh or a graveyard and you have to defend that and it's really fun like it's pretty addictive ah fuck that word you know addicting yeah addictive but it's it's insane how much like replayability that game has and it just makes me happy to see it. and i want to get the new one so bad like i i'm like fighting not getting that game right now oh yeah i'm tempted other to games are coming out but yeah it's an insane game and also another good thing about it is like the currency is not hard to get like you can do little to no work in that game like you can just walk around the map and enjoy the view if you wanted to and they'll give you like twenty thousand coins for just playing the map <laughs> yeah like like you can get that's at least a pack of something like you can get a character piece from those packs if you wanted to but like you could also save up for like three games and like you can just get a character right yeah it's it's that's that's what makes that game like dangerously addictive because you are unlocking so much stuff so frequently and there's so much to unlock that you're constantly just be like oh i could do one more and then like you know i'll be getting you know you're always like working up to something and you're you're always getting rewarded for putting in time. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good game. This is like the fifth time tonight where I'm like talking about a game and that I haven't played in a long time. Like I really need to play this game yeah. again. <laughs> it's such a good game. We need to just have a night where we all just play like all of these online games for like a whole weekend, just like Hell get yeah. together, like it's land party the fuck out of it. it. Oh yeah, It'd be great. Yep. Dope. Plus the humor in Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, is pretty great. It's like stupid, kind of like kitty humor, but a lot of puns. It's all, it's, this game is just full of puns and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's my number one. It's, it, it's a very amazing game. If you've never played it, I would at least try it once. Hell yeah, dude. Well, Brennan, oh, I believe shit. we're on to you. On to me. Damn, it's been a while. 
Uh, well, my number one, I'm pretty sure that none of the three of you have ever played it, nor will you guys ever play it. But uh, I've been relegated to being a console peasant for a while now. And, of course, this game was basically ad- like adapted for PC. And it's actually one of the main reasons why I want to build a PC. And uh, the game is called World of Tanks. World of Tanks. I knew that it was going to be World of Tanks. When, when we lived together, you played that shit religiously. I know. It's because like, I have it on PS4. And like it's just like kind of a nerfed experience compared to PC. But like still, I don't know. I just... For those of you who haven't played it, it's basically a... Like it's an MMO. But it's 10 tiers of like tanks from like the mid 20th century. So you're looking like between the world wars, like up until like the cold war pretty much. So you have like, you know, like your old school, like, you know, German, like world war two tanks or like your Russians. And of course, like American, British, uh, J- Japan has a couple of tank lines, like Czech, like Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia has a tank, like basically like all these different countries and, like the crazy like technologies they developed back in the day. But uh I don't know, what's just like so addicting about it. Like so I'm like a huge history buff and uh you know, seeing the ability to like play different vehicles that like I always like read about as a kid and I'm like of course it's non realistic at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean like you have a health pool, like you know, like in real life, like it'd be more of like whoever had the first shot would win pretty right. much. So I mean like that's huge. If you can nail a direct hit in real life, that's probably, you know, the enemy's turret being cl- blown off the tank. But uh, in World of Tanks, it's more of like like uh, like different ammunitions perform differently. Like some are meant, to, like they only deal damage if they pierce armor. Other ones are like, you know, like high explosive is more of like, uh, like, it, like just the shock value of like the explosions. If it like hits a tank, like that does different types of damage. Um, it's like it takes like, like angling, like how armor is angled into account, like thickness of armor, like how fast vehicles are. Like basically, it's like you know you have like this big map, and fifteen tanks go at it against each other, and whoever either captures the objective or you know destroys the entirety of the other team wins. And of course there's other game modes and stuff, but like, I don't know, just seeing, like you like you'll probably like, like how involved I am, you'll probably like name a tank and I could tell you like, okay, like these are like the stats, like this is how thick the armor is, this is how like the caliber of the gun, fucking penetration values, like all that bullshit. So I'm like, wait, I'm like way too invested. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's actually why, well, it's not fully why, I have other reasons, but it's one of the reasons why I'm building my PC now. You know, hoping by the time this comes out, I'll be like way complete and like be pretty bugging balls deep. But uh, yeah, I'm just I can't get enough of it. I don't know, I'm addicted. <laughs> it's one it's one of those games I could like leave for a few months, like and, like play something else, and the next thing you know, I find myself on like a three month binge, or like you know I'm trying to like unlock a new tier ten or something. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I have a question about that game because I I've played it once. I. Now, is that the game where, like, if your tank is destroyed, you have to wait for it to be repaired? Like, after uh, after a game, after you, like, finish the game? I mean, yeah, like, like how it works, like, when you load into a match, like, you only get that one life in that tank. So, let's say I take out, like, the American Sherman, okay, so, like, an M4 Sherman. I go into battle, I do some damage, like, maybe I get a kill, and then I get killed. Okay, so... Mm-hmm. When you die, you go back to the garage. Or you could just sit there and spectate. Like you can like bounce from like player to player and then like you know, if like you see one guy is just fucking carrying <laughs> like on PC you can actually like type shit out and be like, hey, like you know, the this tank had like seventy five health left. Alright, well cool. Yeah, yeah. So he's a one shot kill. Like you can like help out your teammates that way. Of course on console you just like, you know, on a remote or like a headset. But so when you die, you go back to the garage and then you just pick a different tank. Okay. You know, like it's not like you're like trapped to that one vehicle. Like sometimes when I die, like I don't fucking watch like the rest of the match. So I'm immediately back in the garage picking a different tank, you know, so I can 
go out and like grind a different line or like, you know, if I have a premium, I can make more money off of like do that, you know. Okay. Yeah, I played it. I sucked as soon as I like got in the game. I was dead. Uh, Tank like I rolled up and I was like, "Hey, I can't tell if that's an enemy or not." And then he shot me and I died. I went back to the garage. I was like, "Cool." I'm done playing this game. <laughs> yeah, it took. See, like I always wanted to get into it. So, like I watch a lot of videos on like how to play. But like there was when I first started playing, I had to come to realization like maybe it's not the tank, maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Know, like like uh like, there's actually a YouTuber I watched that like came to the same realization like when he started. Cause like there's like certain tanks like like when people load into the game the first time, like, oh I'm gonna make it down this tech tree and make it to this tank, and then they get to it. And they realize that the tank fucking sucks, <laughs> or like it, or like it's really bad stock. Because you can upgrade them, you can upgrade guns, you can upgrade tracks, you can upgrade like you know turrets and all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, but like, like I wanted to get the tiger. Like when you think, like yeah, like people who know, what well, people who know World War Two, they know the tiger. You know, so I immediately just full steam ahead right down that line. I get to the tiger, and I just get embarrassed by people and like. You know, T forty fours or fucking like, you know, T twenty nine American heavies and shit. I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck? So, but then I figured out like armor angling and like, you know, where to shoot and where to penetrate. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good now. So, yeah. yeah. So it wasn't the game; it was me. <laughs> so that just sounds really fucking cool. That like you can play a game like that and you now know about like fucking armor penetration on tanks. Like, I feel like you got like a fucking like history lesson in the process <laughs> of fucking playing that game. And that's See, really like, fucking cool. They're not totally accurate as far as real life is concerned. Hmm. Um, Cause some of it's more of like just balancing issues. Gotcha. Sure. Yeah. Like, uh, like the tiger, for instance, um, the top gun you can get in the game on the tiger is actually the gun that was on the tiger two. Which was like a later uh, model the Germans rolled out at the end of the war. They only made like 500 of them or some shit. But like they call it the long 88 millimeter. And like I said, like that gun was never actually on the Tiger. But due to the Tiger getting pistol whipped by other tanks back in the day, like more often than not, they were like, oh, we need to like balance this more. Why don't we just give it a better gun? And then boom, now it's like a DPM monster. Damn, all right. So, you know. But yeah, well, number one, I've been ranting and raving about it for a while. <laughs> so I'm building a PC. I can't wait to fire it up and uh, play this game the right way. Join the Shit, PC bro. Master Race. <laughs> World of Tanks, aka nice. World of Spanks. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Good game. Kyle, I think we're on to you. All righty. Well. You know, we're here. We made it. My number one, if it wasn't already obvious by things other people have said, <laughs> yeah. is uh, it's Overwatch. I'm uh, shocked to my what? core. What? Oh, Overwatch. No I way. never saw that coming. Okay, what? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I got you with the whole Fortnite <laughs> thing earlier. Really? I'll just, uh, I'll just, just lay it out there. I, it's Overwatch. Everyone, anyone who knows me knows uh, this is like hands down one of my favorite games uh, in the genre, which I really don't know technically what <laughs> genre it is, but uh Hero overwatch shooter. is really good uh <laughs> like I, I we talked about a lot of good things about it already so i won't go on too long about Let's it talk about the bad things okay the bad <laughs> things <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, switch it up switch up the formula right, yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's my number one so let's, let me talk about why it's bad um so <laughs> i think the, <laughs> the player shit, base bro. is super fucking toxic i think so a lot of the toxic a lot of the devs really don't understand how people play it and it's unfortunate because like like they like it is what's really cool is the devs constantly talk to the community and like get a sense of like what we're thinking and they try things like you were saying how like they have that whole like testing mode and they're like we're gonna try something it might not work it might be stupid but we're gonna try it like recently they announced the whole uh three two one thing and that's not gonna work but it's okay <laughs> yeah that, that's just a fucking I, terrible wait, idea three two one what's that so it's it's uh fucking what is it three three DPS three DPS two tank two support. one support or something no, 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 uh, or one two tank supp- two support yeah, yeah. so oh why are they, they doing that because, because they just wanted to keep a variety and like I like it's 
it's cool that they're willing to just throw stuff out there. They called it experimental, the new tab for it, where they're yeah. just going to try more modes. And I think it's a good idea that they just like are honest and trying things because it's better than them just not changing anything ever and it getting oh. stale. Wait, yeah. so they're not doing this for like competitive? This is just like a separate game mode? Yeah, no, well, it's not oh, even like yeah. a, it's just like they, they added a tab in the menu in the game and it's just called experimental where they just try different things and like they're like, let us know what you think of this. And oh, it's cool. It's not going to work at all, but like, it's an interesting <laughs> thought, you know? It really isn't going to work. Because, like, I mean, like, if you look at Overwatch Twitter, it's just people being like, so, like, off tank just isn't a thing now. It's, it's fine. Whatever. Anyone who's ever played off tank, you don't have a job. It's fine. <laughs> well, um, it's, it's only a, a, a game mode. They're not, like, making Yeah, play no, no, no I know. So it's it, not, like, a big deal. Yeah, if they were to fully endorse that style. Like, yes, that, that would well. suck. Yeah, but. But, you yeah, know, that's enough talking about shitting on it, I guess. <laughs> they're, they're, well, Kyle. As, as any game, it has its problems. What's what's up, Brad? As a basis for the toxicity of the community, okay. what percentage of your lobbies have fucked your mother? Ooh. Ooh. See, okay, I don't, it's not. <sighs> it's more nice. like, I know where you live, motherfucker, I'm going to kill you kind of stuff. Not like, I fuck your mom. It's not yeah. even, like sometimes it's just mean. Like not like yeah. like oh it's fun. I'm gonna poke fun at the fact that like I'm gonna fuck your mother or something, or like jokingly say I'm gonna come and find and fucking kill you. Like it's sometimes yeah, people that straight up fucking insult people for like yeah. the way they think, and I'm like that's not cool. Like I've had people say some really bad things in parties before, and I'm just like ah, I'm not about it. But you know, it's- every once in a while I'll find a group of people though like. Yeah, like I would say, like every other time I get on, I'll find a group of people that I ride out a bunch of times, I like games in a row with, and we just like fucking bullshit and have a good time and just try crazy shit. And it's a really good time. Um, but uh, getting to the meat of like why I really love Overwatch is that I think it is one. Of, it is I, in my opinion, the most polished teamwork game, video game. I think the way that you have to craft a play how you have to like understand a map how each character's abilities work together how players have to like have a really good synergy to make a certain like play happen over another team it is like on a technical level i think the best video game for like teamwork in a group setting it is so good it is so polished that it, it impresses the fuck out of me and it's so good to the point where they made it a fucking esport that is extremely large uh, to the point now where they have home and away games, which is awesome. Unfortunate timing with the coronavirus, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> so, but no, I just I've been following the uh, the esports religiously, like Tyler. I've probably spent too much money on merch, but it's fine. Uh, and <laughs> like, it's just it's so good. Um, I feel like there was other stuff I was going to say about it, but I don't remember. It. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Overwatch good look like Pixar and shoot people at fun. Yeah, pretty it much. Is. Oh, oh, I know. What I, remember. <laughs> I remember what I was going to say. I think, like, uh, as far as, you know, want to play video games goes, Overwatch kind of reinvigorated me to want to be competitive in video games again. Like, it, it was a new way of feeling that I wanted to win a game because it was like, it felt a lot different than anything else I had played up until that point. I never played TF2. I know a lot of people think that is just a carbon copy. I don't think it is anymore now that I've like seen it. I never saw, I never played TF2, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's, and, like, it's way better than TF2 at this point. Yeah. It's way more in depth. <gasps> but. How could you? I think that's the census that it is better, <laughs> but I think overall it's just like, hey, fucking copy TF2, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You can go like fucking <laughs> cry in your parents' basement, all right? Go fuck off. Yeah. Um, but uh, hands down, like, I, I, I know a lot, a lot of people probably know this if you know me, but I competed uh, in my, at, like, at my university in like a, international not international <coughs> national tournament uh <laughs> where like you played against other universities and shit and like every sunday we'd have two matches against another university and i did that for like two years and it was a fucking blast i it's probably gonna be one of my fondest memories from college beating other like high like name schools and like just being like yeah fuck you i'm a tiny school in Silver rock and i just fucking kicked your ass yeah <laughs> like, it's, it's a it's just so good. It, like whenever you get a play to go so well and just like like there's like a clip on Twitch from like 
way back when we were playing that uh it's just like we all fucking like pu- pulled off a play super fucking well and we all just fucking lose our minds and get really fucking excited and i just like sometimes i go back and watch that and i'm like yeah that was a good time so <laughs> i don't know it's just it's it gives me a lot of good memories and i think it's extremely well polished and gives me hope for the future of gaming wow wow nice. now that's a statement wow <coughs> sure is support gamers do you say deport gamers? No, support. So. Wow. support. Ah, okay. <laughs> the future okay. of gaming, deport gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Put all support. the gamers on an island. They will live together. Madagascar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, my number one is Overwatch. If you haven't played before, give it a try. It's a good old time. Uh, it's maybe fun don't. Game. Don't turn, mute everyone. Just mute everybody. It's fine. <laughs> or, yeah. or get a group of people that all want to play it together with you because then it's really fun. Yeah, that's like the problem with the fan base. Everybody thinks they're the best. And yep. like the people <laughs> that uh, like are very vocal about it, they're, they'll just ruin the f- game for you. They'll just be like, well, you're the worst, you're the worst, you're the worst. And it, they're just constantly complaining like if they're losing. And it's like, hey, man, shut up. Like, it's just a game. <laughs> hey, uh, and, and that's the worst thing you can tell them, by the way, of that it's just a game. Um, yeah, they just. Why, why are you complaining? Some... Why are you complaining? Like, it's because I like it. It's fun. <laughs> so fucking relax. I work a nine to five job. But <laughs> I don't know. This, this is, is like shit. free time for me. Yeah, it's. Yeah, the player base sucks. Yeah. yeah it's it's just gaming in general. That's one of the reasons I don't really play Overwatch because. Yeah. It's one of the reasons I don't play it as consistently as I used to because I just got tired. I was like, I don't need to be angry about this. Like, because yeah. like sometimes they say stuff that just like will piss you off and you just get angry. And I, I didn't need that stress in my life. So I kind of like cut back on how much I played it. But like I still play it from time to time and sometimes too much, but it's fine. Uh, and it's just a good time. I love that game. I will never yeah. not love that game. So, yeah. I, I was playing oh, yeah. right before this and I was, I, my inbox on Xbox is full. Of you're, you're trash, you're trash. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't care. Cool, cool. Yeah. Tyler, it. that's me. That's you. <gasps> Whoa! Round us out, buddy. Do it up. Give us that oh, final here we number go. one. Oh yeah. Um, man, this is a bit bad. of a this is a bit of a, a somber uh, entry on my list because as of the time of this recording, this game was shut down exactly one week ago, forever, for all time. Servers are down. Can't even play offline. Um. But those of you who know me know I have a soft spot for um, card games and tactics games. And this was a hybrid between the two genres. It's a little game called Duelist. And boy, howdy, did I sink a lot of time into this wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, Cody and I played this game religiously for like the past year. I had dabbled in it um, earlier on. Like I've played it over the course of, of several years, but um, like this year in particular, we got really, really, really into that game. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, basically Duelist was like, um, it was, a, yeah, it was like, it was like a card game, tactics game hybrid. Like you would, there'd be different factions um, that would each have different um, like play styles and different cards you could use. Um, and then there were several generals you would pick from, from each of those factions when you built a deck. And that was basically your character. Um, and the goal was to kill the other person's general and you had 25 health. So you would be able to move them around the board, uh, in tactics game fashion. And then you had cards that would either, you know, do spells, give your general equipment to give them different buffs or summon monsters that you would use to then also move around the field. So like the the depth of that game was just incredible because, you know, obviously card games and tactics games in their own right uh, like already have a ton of depth. But mixing the two together just created this. This like super unique, awesome experience that was like nothing else that exists or probably will ever exist. Um you know, because building a deck is one thing of like cards that are going to work, but then being able to execute that when you have to physically move your units around to like 
make strategies actually work. Like it just adds so much depth and strategy to it. And um, it was just so much fun. Like I would just spend hours like fucking building decks and like trying out different strategies and uh, you know grinding out currency for new cards and stuff like. And Cody and I made some pretty tasty, sick, nasty decks. Uh, you know, nothing super crazy, high level game breaking, but we came up with some pretty nasty shit that we would uh, just bust out to each other, <laughs> and it was great. And you know, you don't have to worry about like a toxic community because you can't really communicate with the other player. It's just you versus a total stranger. You can't like message each other. You can't like talk to each other. You just. You, you play card tactics and then it's it's a good time and some if you're both really good sometimes the matches will go on for like excruciatingly long periods of time because <laughs> neither one of you want to say die and oh man like it's just it's just such a fucking cool game and such a well executed game and it is a fucking damn shame that they shut it down um I'm assuming they did it to go work on Godfall because that's the game that they're coming out with that studio is making. I'm assuming they were just like, yeah, not enough people are playing this. Go, go work on that. Make us money. But, you know, I wish they would have at least like kept the servers up a little longer. You know, Battleborn died years ago and they're still giving us until 2021 for the servers to shut down. Duelist was literally like at the beginning of February. They're like, yeah, at the end of the month, we're killing it. So, that's a sorry. Shame. Yeah, I like I rem- did, I think didn't we discover that game? Like we did around yeah. the same time of Awesome Knots ish. Yeah, I had actually discovered it before that, but I I played it like one time and I was like, oh, this is cool, and I never did it again. And then yeah. I like rediscovered it with you at your house one time, mm-hmm. and we were like, oh, this is really cool, and we played it for like a few hours. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, before Cody got into it, we used to play it. Um, yeah, not like super frequently, but. Mm-hmm. Um, we would dabble in it, and I always thought it was really fun. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. like, super good. Like, because, like, whenever you mentioned how, like, games could go on excruciatingly long, that, like, brought back memories immediately of us playing and just being like, I won't give up my last card. <laughs> like, right. You yeah. had me absolutely pinned down, but I could stretch it out another two turns, and bitch, I was gonna. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, dude, but, like, when me and Cody got, like, our high-level decks, like, it was usually either, like, either one of us would steamroll because the other person was getting, like, bad hands or one person was just getting, like, the best hands ever. Or it was just, like, the match would be a complete fucking stalemate for, like, an hour until someone would just break and we would finally, like, get through and just, like, set up a sick combo and just murder them. Like, yeah, dude, it's such a fucking good game and... I tried, like, looking into other card games now that it's gone, but, like, without the tactics element, it's just not as fun. And then I'm trying to look at tactics games, and without the card element, it's just not as fun. And, like, (laughs) there's just, yeah. Just play Magic the Gathering, bro. I like Magic the Gathering, but it's not as fun as Duelist, in my opinion. I I tried getting into Magic. It just... Plus, like, the barrier to entry for uh, fucking Magic is a little high. Yeah, yeah, it's so. it's tough. I don't even fully understand it. I play it like sem. I don't. I, mean, I shouldn't even say semi frequently, but like I play it every once in a while. Like yeah, the Magic the Gathering Arena, and like I kind of understand it. But then I try to go online, and like almost every other match, if not more so often, that I I often will be like, oh fuck, they're doing something I've never fucking heard of. Like how yeah. the fuck <laughs> is this happening? Sometimes I feel cool, but yeah, no. And, like, creating decks and shit in Magic is, like, one of the most commitment, like, time commitment fucking right. overloads ever. I sat down and had my friend help me fucking, like, make a deck. And I was like, what? <laughs> and now I can't not play that deck because I feel fucking attached to it. So, like, I, sure, I feel yeah. that so hard. Like, you, <laughs> you get so committed. Yeah. But uh, that's that's why I like Duelist. It's a, it's a tight game. It will be missed. Uh, press F to pay respects. For Duelist. Hashtag I, uh, make Duelist 2. What? I said hashtag make Duelist 2. Fucking please. I would... Dude, if they if they even, like, entertained <laughs> the thought of, like, bringing oh, Duelist yeah. back in some way, I would go into even more crippling debt than I would for Transformers <laughs> reboot. This is the like, one. Like, I would guys. sell this my internal huge. organs to get Duelist <laughs> back in some capacity. Like, holy fuck. Only it's only it's only been gone for a week and I've already like miss it so much. It's unfortunate. 
I can't even play offline. Like you, you can't even log in. Like it's ah, there's a there's a hole in my heart that will never be filled. That's Fucking sad. duelist, man! It's like a dead loved one. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> wow, really taking all that time and love just gone. Hey, man, forever. my grandpa just died. Well, guess what? My favorite card game just got canceled. So fuck you. Oh. <laughs> it was a tactical card game hybrid. I'm so sorry. That makes it life. worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, that's all I have to say. And that's all we have to say about anything. Because this podcast is over. Because that was the last guy. We're done. That's it. Leave. So, uh, go away. Turn it off. Go away. Turn it off right so, now. Yeah, yeah, everyone get the fuck out. Uh, we're shutting this shit down. Fuck off. <laughs> Much like you, Duelist, we're turning it all off. But yeah, I really don't. Shutting, shutting down. <laughs> Just for this episode. We'll be back again in a couple weeks. With yeah. with more great gravy content. Yeah. Ooh. As the as the people call it. Biscuits and gravy, bitches. Mm. So if you liked this episode of the Tiffany Top Podcast, you all know what to do. You gotta hit that little like button if you're watching this on YouTube. So let us know you liked it. Um that'll that'll really help us. that we we appreciate the support. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Uh, we do tons of different topics. Uh, upload semi frequently. Just got a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about, and um, we appreciate you listening to our ramblings about all of this very non important stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below what your top five online multiplayer games are because we would love to hear them and. I guess that's uh, that's about it. That's about that. So we have been the Talks Lot Boys, and we will talk a whole lot more next time. See you later. See you. Goodbye.